All right, one sec, fellas. Hang on. Be right there. All right, let's see if that works. I apologize about that. That was uh, that was my bad. I don't know what was happening there, but everything should be working uh, all good now. At least I hope. We'll find out. Uh, let me get this screen where it needs to go. And uh, you know what I saw when I was doing that little uh, thing we just did? I saw somebody uh, on the chat. I think it was Michael Day or Michael Myers or somebody going, um, how do we know Jaffe's not being paid? to uh, push these sub services. Well, first off, cause I think you have to tell people um, this stream is sponsored by X, Y, Z, right? Um, that's number one. Number two is, I don't know. I don't lie. I, I literally don't lie. Um, it's, I just don't do it. I, the last time I lied was my uh, kids. I lied to my youngest kid who was three at the time. And he got sick um, because, uh, I don't know, he was sick. He had a sore throat. And we were going to, to Disneyland. And my oldest was fine, and I was fine. Um, and so I told my youngest, I said, oh, yeah, no, I, I have to take your sister to uh, some school function thing. That, that was the last time I've lied. Um, I, I just don't do it. Um, but you know, think what you want to think, but I, 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 I just, I don't do it. And, um, there you go. How do you know I'm not lying about not lying? Yeah, you don't. That's true. Anyway, the point is, I, I want to go back to this cause I'm hoping maybe you guys can educate me on this. Uh, so what am I missing? You've got, Ouya tried it and got money from Kickstarter. Um, Polycade, uh, is trying it today. They've raised a couple million dollars for this. Tommy, uh, is trying it. He, he's got a whole bunch of people behind this. What, ex and again, I'm not knocking it. I played the Amico. I like it. I played the Ouya. I love Towerfall. I love casual games. I just don't understand. Um, this is what I was going to show you before we crashed. And this is what caused us to crash when I click these and they're not working. I'm just going to kill that page. Maybe there's something wrong with the fucking page. Uh, I think that's what it was. It was, it was trying to, it was their website, man. This is, these are their games, right? Um, and I showed this on a previous stream. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but this is basically the Amico games and they're fun. I have played them. Um, but I mean, you can play these on a mobile phone. Um, and you can play these on a switch. You can play these on PS4. And I want this to do well because I believe in the vision of what Tommy has and what those guys and girls have over there. But I just don't understand um, why there's an assumption that people are going to go into Walmart and say, I don't want to play family games on the switch, but I will play them on this $250 box. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm sure Tommy knows it's not for everyone and his expectations on what the sales will be in check, says John. Could be. I mean, again, I, I like this. I'm going to get an Amico. Um, I like everything about what they're trying to do. I'm just trying to figure out why when other systems already offer what Ouya does, what Polycade does, what Intel, what Amico does, why are these CEOs standing up and saying, don't you wish we could return to the days of playing in front of the television screen? I'm like... No, because I do that all the time with my kids. It's not like that's gone away. Um, Tommy said there's rape games on Switch. Really? I haven't seen that. Overcooked was the closest recent thing I've had to same screen wholesome fun. Yeah, Overcooked was great, Trey. But I mean, there's there's um, Towerfall. There's Nidhogg. There's, uh, uh, there's, you know, fighting games. I mean, there's tons of games. Um... But anyway, I, I, I just don't understand why we've got our third box now with Polycade 
coming out and saying, this is a hole that needs to be filled in the market. Cause I'm kind of going this hole, there's no hole. This is totally filled. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. We'll find out um, when these go on sale. Polycade will be soon and television has been pushed to 2021 because of COVID. Um, yeah, and Super Smash. Oh, well, there's all the fucking Nintendo games. Yeah. Jaffe, I don't think these companies are projecting to make Sony or Nintendo money. They want a small piece of the pie. I get it. But is there a piece of the pie to be had? Work with me for a minute. I can go and I can buy this for $1.99, right? Or I can buy it for $2.50 by the time Amico comes out. I can buy the one that has the Joy-Cons that separate. I can have this on my TV um, and I can have two controllers for certain games. Um, and I can play some of the best multiplayer same couch games in the world that have ever been made. The only thing Amico says for paying the same price, which is $250, is our games are cheaper. Um, they might be better than Nintendo's games. Um, and I'm sure more of them will be simpler than Nintendo's games. So maybe that's enough. Maybe that's enough. Like this game, I played this game. It was fun. It was really, really fun. I'm not going to go out and spend $250 to play it, but it was fun. Um... At the same time, you're so brutally honest in this channel that maybe they blacklisted you in case you didn't get... Oh, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I mean, that, you know what? That's the other thing. We're, you're going back to talking about uh, Matrix. You're talking about um, these influencers getting PlayStation 5s. I'm like... I mean, think about that. I mean, it's Again, it's fine. I get it. I get why they do it. They do it because they want people to, to say nice things about your work. And so you can promote it for them. I, I understand that. I appreciate that. Um, I, don't even, I don't even have a problem with it. But I have a problem with people not calling out the influencers and going, you can't really be trusted anymore. I mean, unless you get the PS5 and you get the Xbox and you say, I didn't really like the PS5 or I didn't really like the Xbox. I know what it's for. Um... I understand it's, you guys, you guys are so funny. It's like, I don't, maybe it's my fault. Maybe all these conversation topics are my fault because I don't understand how to articulate. I know it's capitalism, right? Just like I understand that, um, certain video gamers are not going to want to go streaming and digital. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how it's shitty. I understand why it happens. I'm telling you, I don't like it. And I'm telling you that you shouldn't like it either. Um, Atari's doing the same thing right now. Yeah, no, they are. They absolutely are in terms of the box. Jaffe, don't need a free PS5. He's going to be up grandma outside of GameStop. That's exactly right. Um, okay, yeah, Trey says people are just bad at conversations nowadays. Could be, could be that. Okay, let's move the fuck on, though. Let's move the fuck on. Um, we are going to do uh, a couple of giveaways in just a second. Um. But I want to show you, we used to do a stream called the Jaffe stream. Some of you guys and girls were there and I talked about weird topics all the time. I don't really do that anymore, but there is a topic that came up today that is too good not to share it with you. It is amazing. It gets your mind buzzing with possibility. I have to share this with you. Okay. Um, Planet weird. That's right. Trey Trimble. That's right. This is not the Jaffe stream. This is Gabin and Games. It's very game-centric. So listen to me. So the Jewish priest, which I didn't think Jews had priests, but fine. I thought that was called a rabbi. Uh, a guy named, I'm going to get his name wrong, uh, Caiaphas. Caiaphas uh, is the guy who sent Jesus to his death in the Bible, is what I understand. Okay? And he was buried in a cave in this sarcophagi, sarcophagus. And in the cave, in the coffin with him, were the nails, supposedly, that were the nails that nailed Jesus Christ to the cross when he was cross when he was crucified. And back in the day, those were things people got buried with because it showed they were either like protective totems or it showed how wealthy or influential they were, blah, blah, blah. So there was a time when those nails went missing after archaeologists discovered them. Um, 
but they've been found since and they've been found and they did a bunch of carbon dating testing on these things and they have determined that yes these are not a hoax these are absolutely nails from the time period and from a cave that is very much like the one that uh Chaos was buried in if i'm saying his name right they won't, well, they'll never be able to know exactly is this the exact nail but they're they know absolutely it's from the time period and they know it's from a region and they know it sat in a cave and in a sarcophagus for a very long time so there's good chance these are the nails that were buried with this jewish priest whether those were the nails that had put jesus on the cross we don't know okay here's the bigger part though there's ancient wood petrified wood and ancient bone embedded microscopic bone embedded in this goddamn cross you know what that means do you know what that means that means you know where a lot of dna is stored you can get a lot of dna out of bone a lot of dna out of bone it is not fake news bacon magma you moron you it, you could get the dna from the bone fragments that supposedly allegedly are the bones of jesus christ now think about that if we had the book how exciting this is if we had the dna of <laughs> jurassic christ says alex alexis listen if we had the dna uh of jesus i would say let's fucking make a clone what would that be what would that be i mean is it still the son of god if that's a real thing does he get zapped back into his fucking body um or is it like no he's just this guy that grows up to look like jesus not the jesus in the paintings but he would look like a i assume like a black dude or a, a right one jesus like from ethiopia or something um I, pff, give him the name like jesus jesus whatever jesus nazareth and he like works at the fucking um you know auditing centers and just be some guy um one does not clone the son of god says crank let me tell you something if i was in charge i would be taking this bone fragment and i would be extracting dna and i would be cloning him i would be cloning jesus you goddamn right i would i had to share that it's good stuff here's what we're gonna do fellas um, you got the whole DNA thing totally wrong, Jaffe. NATO, what do I have wrong about it? What do I have wrong about it? You you can get DNA from bone. I researched that. I know that's true. <laughs> Akashi says Jesus would be an influencer. Yeah, he'd totally have a PS5. Um, you can absolutely get the DNA. And you can absolutely clone people, maybe, from dna i mean you still need an egg and everything um they didn't invent dna back then what are you talking about the second coming and in 2020 we're all completely screwed yeah the second coming who knew the second coming of christ was going to come from like pfizer and not you know the sky uh my question is if they do this through crispr right would this clone carry the genetic memories of jesus himself <gasps> wouldn't that be something he just thinks he's a, a nice, normal guy. And then he starts having these flashbacks to being crucified and visits with God and stuff. Um, you resurrect Jesus, then he ends the world because you disturbed his rest. Yeah, well, you know, it's science. Yeah, but you won't clone people from DNA. No, but you can basically take the DNA and you can put that into the 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 egg and the sperm baby and have jesus dna and the egg and the sperm baby i'm not saying you can take the jesus dna and flip a switch and jesus comes to life you have to jump through some fucking hoops um yeah, crank says jesus would be a nice normal guy working the wood in his workshop downtown that's right that's exactly right um is genetic memory even real? I, I have no idea, but I, I've heard about it before. What if he looks like Trump? Can you imagine? Okay, anyway, that's the story. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, we have two giveaways we're going to do before we take a very small break because that other break killed us and play some Pumpkin Jack. Um, my thoughts on the Godfather movies, beloved grandson. Um, I very much like Godfather 1 and 2, 3. I've only seen once and I remember going, eh, it's okay. Um, so I'm going to give away, I'm, I'm going to try to win an Xbox. If I win it, 
it's mine. It's not yours. But since it's mine, I'm going to give it away to somebody uh, over on Discord. Not on YouTube because I can't do that with uh, members on YouTube because it's not legal. But let's do that, shall we? Let's. And by the way, I want to turn, turn you guys on to something. It is now October uh, um, 22nd beyond. Every day, you don't even have to buy a cup anymore. I'm going to put the link in here for you guys. People have won this way. This is not like a scam. Legally, they have to make sure you can enter this for free. There you go. If you want to go to that page, at the bottom here, when it says how to obtain a code, um, you can go to without a purchase, and there are three codes. They're always going to be the same, and you can use them every single day. You can do it three times a day, then you have to wait for the clock to roll over, okay? So that's for you. Have fun. But I'm going to see if I win, and if I win, I'm going to give mine away, okay? Here we go. Uh, i got to enter my email. I'm not going to show you that because that would be, you know, against the law. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Give me. Okay, here's the code. Here we go. There's the code. Uh, <laughs> Jesus be with me. I don't eat Taco Bell. I like real food. It doesn't matter, Michael Myers. This is a free code. You don't have to eat it. Enter the fucking free code, you maroon. Look at you telling me you think that I fucking get paid to say subs. We're going to talk. We're going to have words, sir. Here we go. Here we go. I've reached my maximum entry for this code. What are you talking about? Hang on. Let me go get another code. God damn it. Maybe I already used that one last night. I don't know. Hang on. Um, I want my code. The great D meat tastes good. I don't, you know, um, I don't do any of that. I, uh, I just, I, I, I eat the beans and the cheese, man. That's pretty much my, uh, Chongo, you just put something up on the, 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 the discord. What is, what is that picture? Is that something you want me to see? Um, Taco Bell screwed up my order today and it didn't realize till I got home. Oh, that sucks. That sucks when that happens. Right, what is going on? Give me my fucking shit, man. I want, okay, click here for a free method. Good, all right, fuck you. Okay, uh, maybe I've done this too many times. I Maybe the clock's 24 hours, not midnight, so maybe I won't be able to do it right now. But let's find out. Okay, online code here. We're gonna buy help. Thing is on help. Okay, Spidey. Okay. All right, here we go. This could be it, kids. This could be our big day. Boom. Nope, not this time. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Jaffe would get the shits before getting a code that worked if he ate the food. That's true. Um, is Discord open to everyone? Of course it is, uh, Popcon. Absolutely. Uh, let me give you a link. Uh, do we even have mods today? Are there any mods today? I think you guys are, uh, I don't know if we have anybody today, but I will send you guys a link to the Discord. And then we are going to give away, not for resale, this fantastic documentary. I will ship it to anywhere in uh, America. I will not ship it um, outside of the United States because it's way too fucking much ducats, but I will send it anywhere in America. Um, oh, hello, Bukaki. I hadn't seen you today. Okay. Chongo put something up on the Discord. It just looks like people eating in a mall. I don't understand what he's showing me. All right, this, if you want to join our merry band um, on the Discord, and I hope you do, uh, it won't cost you a goddamn penny, um, but there's good conversation over there, a lot of fun posts. This is the link that you need. Um, boom, there you go. Okay, here's what we're doing. This is for anyone. This is not for a member. This is for anybody watching the stream right now, okay? I am going to draw a picture, okay? Okay. Your job is to basically, cool, grandson, thanks for joining, man. Your job is to tell me what the picture is, okay? What it's representing. Um, and I'm not going to say how I'm going to give away the DVD um, at all. Oh, I just burped. Um I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say, I'll tell you that afterwards. What I'll say is it is uh, in your best interest to as quickly as possible write down what you think 
I'm drawing, what you think my, my thing is representing, right? Um, hang on, uh, 11, 11, okay, let me get the pin up. And I'm not gonna tell you why that is. And I am gonna put on the chat window on screen, it will be at my discretion who wins, because a lot of people sometimes say, oh, I did that first, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, look, I'm gonna go off this right here, okay? So this will be what determines who I see who writes it first. Okay. Okay. Let me think. This is going to, okay. We're, this is a video. This is a movie called Not For Resale. It is about um, mom and pop video game stores. So I want to, I want to do something retro. I want to do something that kind of speaks to the 16-bit, 32-bit era of video games. I got Photoshop, of course, of course. I love Photoshop, it's how I do all my thumbnails, which, you know, Trey gave me great thumbnails and I try to make them look nice because I have to customize them, uh, you know, for every uh, whatever, but. You're saying the chat's already on screen? That's a good point, all right, it's a good point. Well, I'll keep it there anyway, it's easier for me, I don't have to keep looking over. Okay, um, Chongo, are you in the stream, buddy? I wanna, I wanna know what the fuck that, why you put that picture up there? What is that? Oh, Popcon just joined. User Discord just joined. And Huzzy Hazafaya Dimbos just joined over on the Discord. Welcome, fellas and Filetes. I appreciate it. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Trey. Okay. This is related to the old video games 16-bit, 32-bit. So it's in that Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, up to PlayStation 1 era. It's going to be a picture that is about a game that came out at the time. As soon as you know what it is, you need to type it, okay? Um, it doesn't mean that the first guy who types it or the first girl who types it wins, but you're in a very good position to win if you're one of the first people to type it. It's not Biggie Smalls, no. And please type in all caps. That's not a requirement, but it would absolutely make it easier for me to see. Okay, uh, here we go, here we go. Um, Oh, now, no, oh, okay, yeah, I gotta move the chat over. That, that totally, hang on. Okay. What do you win? Michael Myers, if you win, I'm going to mail out, if you're in America, I'm not mailing it internationally, the Not For Resale documentary, which is a fantastic documentary that is all about um, mom and pop video game stores that are fading away uh, in America for sure. Um, so. Is everybody ready? Chongo says, I was moving too fast. That's my third reply. Image is unrelated to stream. Oh, okay, you're in Texas. Gotcha, okay. So Kronos, this is basically Pictionary, win, lose, or draw, and it's about the 30, I'll just, this is the PlayStation era, okay? This is the name of a PlayStation 1. No, sorry, sorry. This is the name of a PlayStation 2 game, okay? Here we go. And you guys should know, I can't draw worth a fuck. Let's make this a little bigger. If you guys just start, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it. I'm, I'm gonna change it. You can't just start spamming names of games. You can't do it. No one. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna say get. I'm gonna. No one guess until I say now it's time to guess. And if you see it, if you see what it is, just get type it, but don't hit enter yet. And I'll say now because that's gonna be annoying. Someone's gonna get it and say I guessed it an hour ago, and I'm not gonna call that fair. So. If starting from where Kaiden just said, yeah, this isn't helpful. Anyone who guesses something before I say now um, won't get it. Okay, so just chill the fuck out. Okay. Right, this is why we can't have nice things, says Mario. That's right.
Okay, you can start guessing now, but if you're spamming, you're disqualified. So if you're just like, Metal Gear Solid, Jet Moto, Twisted Metal, yeah, you're fucking disqualified. Okay? Okay? Um, nope. What's up, baby? You sure? Yeah. You need anything? Oh, I'll, I'll do them. No, not yet. There you go. There you go. Guess. No one's gotten it yet. Ready. Go. Ready. Yes. Go. Someone's got it. I'm not going to say who it is yet. I need the first three. We got one. We got two. We got one. We got two. We got three. Okay, we're done. It's time splitters. Zach Vesely. Um, let's see. Let's make sure. Zach Vesely was the first one. Uh, uh, Zach Scott was the second. And Trey Trimble was the third. Okay, so there is only one winner. So now we have three people. Um, and here's how we're doing it. Okay, so I'm going to write a number down. It's a number between 1 to 20. I'm writing it down right now with my pen. Uh, okay. So, let me see. So, Zach Scott and Zach Vesely are not members. You guys get one guess. Um... Chango is, uh, not Chango, uh, 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 Trey Trimble is a member. He gets two guesses. So I'm going to give Zach, because he was first, the closest to the number gets the, gets the movie. Zach Vesely, you get one guess. It's a number between 1 and 20. What do you want to guess? Okay, Zach Vesely says 13. Zach Scott, you are next. What do you want to guess? Zach Scott is 11. Trey Trimble, you are last. You get two guesses. You need a number between 1 and 20. 13 is taken by Zach Vesely, Vesely and Zach Scott has 11. 7 and 18 is what Trey says. 7 and 18. The number... Wait, I can't see my thing. Hang on. The number is 17. Trey Trimble gets it. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Congrats, Trey. Thank you guys for playing. Thank everybody for playing. That is our giveaway for the day. Trey, hit me up over on the Discord with your address, and I will send you this documentary in the mail uh, later this week. And it's really good. Let me know what you think. Um, all right, there you go. Okay, so here's... <laughs> Trey's a pro gamer, that's right. Um, okay, what else do we got here? All right, let's do chat for about five minutes, and we're going to take a break and come back. We'll take a look at some pumpkin head. So what is called Pumpkin Jack, not Pumpkin Head. Let me kill the screen. Um, okay, one second. Zach Scott, holy shit, sir. You've just subscribed. You are now a proud young member of the Diet Soda Soldier Brigade. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. We're about to see a nice little pop-up appear on the screen in just a moment. That is all for you. I appreciate that generosity, Zachariah. And I appreciate your company. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, sir, very, very much. Very kind of you. Let's bring that up. Come on, Diet Coke trophy. Where is that? Give Zach, give the man his goddamn trophy. Now, by the way, I want to let you know um, that so far I have had not one member. Our members are growing. There you go. There you go. Sarah, 
Zach Scott just became a member of the Diet Soda Soldiers. She says, fan. You want to come talk to Zach? No, you don't want to come talk to Zach. Yeah, no, but the point is this, though. The point is this. Um, Moonshine and Biscuit Social Club, I got nobody. I got nobody um, asking for a free copy of um, uh, what's the fucking ghost game called? Phobos, Fanda Phobos, whatever the fuck it is, the thing we're playing tomorrow night. I got three of them to give away. I got goddamn three of them to give away. The only way you're going to get one, though, is you have to commit to being there to play tomorrow night around 6 to 7 o'clock start time in Southern California start time. So, again, remember, if you want a free copy and you're coming tomorrow night, you got to be over on the Moonshine and uh, uh, Biscuit uh, uh, Social Club over on the Discord because I can't do a giveaway for members here on the YouTube. It's got to be over there. Phasmophobia, that's right. So remember, tomorrow night we're playing Among Us for about an hour, starting at 6 o'clock California time, and then we're going to roll into uh, Phasmophobia, and we'll roll in teams. It's ghost hunting, four-player uh, co-op ghost hunting game. It's supposed to be really fun, and we'll be playing that into the night a couple hours. Uh, everyone can play, but it's members-only seating priority. So there you go. I heard they're putting a patch out, Judy, for hackers on that game. Um Bukaki, you can remind me all day long, but you're not. No one is posted in the Moonshine and Biscuit Social Club. That's not true. Heath Nation just said he wants a copy. All right, Heath Nation, you get the first copy. So Heath Nation, you are coming tomorrow night to play. Am I correct? You will be there, Heath. What I don't want to do is give up a copy to someone who's coming and they don't have a copy for themselves. Um, and then, but if you're, if you're there tomorrow night, Heath, yes, I will send you a copy tonight or tomorrow. You have to have steam though. It's a, it's a PC game. Just so you know. Um, nice background. Thank you, JB. Um, Tommy Tallarico says, if you don't like Amico, you're a gaming racist. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but, um, the, uh, uh, but I do like Amico. I've played it. I do like Amico. I'm talking only uh about the uh the, the the business model of it i'm talking only about how successful it'll be if tommy's theory uh is accurate that's all i'm talking about i'm not talking about anything else um fa okay so bukaki has a copy heath nation already has a copy so bukaki gets the first copy wait a minute is the moonshine and biscuit social club limited to only cult calypso and higher i thought it was supposed to be for everybody uh, yeah, it's for everybody. I see Afro Alley posting in there. I see Muggin Dude posting in there. You have to link your Discord to the YouTube account is what you have to do. Maybe that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, right now, the okay, so Heath, you, wait, Heath, you're saying you, you'll take a copy or you already have a copy? I'm confused. Heath, do you want a copy or not? That's what I'm trying to figure out, sir. Shut up, Vanquish. We're about to play Pumpkin Jack, goddammit. Hello, Jeesh. Good to see you as always, sir. Um, is God of War going to be viewable to non-members or is it just chat for members? I don't know that yet. It really depends. I'll, I, I haven't figured all that out yet. I know right now that the uh, Halloween special, which is coming up on Wednesday, is going to be for everybody. Um, but members are, it's either going to be members only chat and, or members are the only ones that can participate in the events and contests and things like that. But I, I'll let you know soon. Um, a question, Jaffe says, Twiz, I couldn't find an answer. Was the PlayStation HQ always in California or was it originally in Japan? <sighs> I mean, play, it was in Japan. I mean, PlayStation started in Japan. The first American office was in Foster City up by San Francisco, which sucks. I had to move there. I hated it there. But the guy they wanted to run it um, had just bought a house there. And he's like, I'll take the job, but you got to fucking move the, uh, you got to fucking move the, the company to fucking Foster City. And it's like, what? All right. So Heath, you, okay, got it. Okay. So you, okay. I meant to say I have among us, not the other one. Okay. So right now Heath nation has a copy for tomorrow night. Bukaki drive-by has a copy for tomorrow night. Um, listen to me. I never thought it would happen, but today it happened. Today it happened. Seb tab. 
gets our third copy. Seb Sab, you are going to be there tomorrow night. If you're going to be there, that's all the copies. So we have, uh, well, Bukaki, it's starting at six o'clock California time. Oh my God, Alexis, I never thought you would join our band. We tried to get you for years and you have now become a member of the Diet Soda Soldiers. Thank you, Alexis. I appreciate it. I appreciate your company, your generosity. I hope you enjoy your membership. We will work hard all year long to make sure every month you feel good about giving your hard earned ducats to Gavin and Games. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, okay, so Bukaki's in, Heath Nation is in. Seb Sab, are you going to be able to play tomorrow with us? Jaffe, where do you find? Hello, Michael McGee. Good to see you. I, did you get my message, Michael McGee, about the China thing? That I took it down, not because I didn't like it. I took it down because I got to do some editing to, to fix some shit, right? Um, but uh, uh, Michael McGee, if you go down to the bottom of this video you're watching right now, this live stream, there is a link to a Google doc. And in that it gives all the explanations of what the tiers are. And then if you want to join, click the join button and it'll give you a, a, a more truncated uh, explanation. Okay. So all the copies are gone. Um, all the copies are gone. It's Seb Sab, Heath Nation, uh, and Bukaki are getting their copies of Phasmophobia. I'll send them out tonight or I'll send them out tomorrow. Um, but that's tomorrow night, six o'clock. Uh, California time. Again, you guys can play. Um, you guys can play if you didn't win a copy. If you have a copy of your own, it's PC, Steam. Remember, you got to have PC, it's got to be Steam. You can play. Um, and we're going to be playing Among Us before that, which you can play on a fucking cell phone. So hopefully we'll see you tomorrow night. JB, how do you become a member? All you do is you click the join button down below. But before you do that, I highly recommend... Um, uh, uh, reading the Google Doc because it'll tell you everything that comes with the membership. NATO says, Jaffe, I have a question, a test of your creativity. How would Calypso fuck up Kratos when he wins the tournament? That's a great question. Okay, you're putting me on the spot, so I haven't thought through this, but let me try really hard. Am I going to have you in voice chat? Uh, I think so. I think we have to be in voice chat uh, for f Phasmophobia. I don't think we have to. I hope so. Are you guys able to get on a microphone tomorrow night and be in the Discord? Um, I would say, yeah, upvote. Yes, you can. Yeah, there you go. Upvote Bandit. You're in the Moonshine and Search Club now. I see you in there. Um, what would I do? I would... Shut up, Michael Myers. I'll get to it. He's like, let's play Pumpkin Jack now. I'm talking. I'm talking, Michael Myers. Goodness gracious. Um... I won't be playing it in VR though, because I don't, it's not all hooked up yet. Calypso. Oh, that's a great one. Metallic beat me to it. He would ask for his wife and kid to come back, but I'd have to figure out the language, but he would basically have him kill them again. So it, it would almost, it would almost be like Calypso. He says, I want my wife and child alive again. And he says, um, granted. And the wife and child are there. Um, and then suddenly, um, I don't know. Ares comes in and Ares is like, no, this isn't the way of things. And Calypso gets into a fight with Ares and Calypso's never improved, not Calypso, uh, Kratos and Kratos has never gotten his anger under control. And in killing Ares again, he turns around and realizes that he's killed his wife and kid again. <laughs> and then, and then at the end it's, um, Ares gets back up cause he's never really dead. And Calypso's like, um, that was really mean, huh? And Aries is like, yeah, I loved it or something. So they were totally in fucking cahoots. I love it. There you go. That's the way uh, that Calypso fucks over Kratos. Good question though, man. Um, if I get free copy, can I play in VR? Uh, well, if you have your own copy, you can play with us tomorrow night. Absolute question of members get priority front of the line. That's all. But no, everyone can come and everyone can play if there's a slot. Um... Okay, so what happened, Crank? What's going on? So anyway, um, we're taking a quick break. We're going to come back and play this game. I hear this game is not great, but I hear it's really good. It's really solid. Um, it's well made. It's made by one guy. So, you know, it's an indie game, but it looks really good and it should be fun. Uh, and it's very Halloween-y. So we will come back in six minutes. Hello, Proto V. Always good to see you, sir. Um, and we will play Pumpkin Jack, okay? I'm gonna 
kick off our break. It's a very short break. Hang on. Let's go to our game. Let's go to our game break screen. Uh, that's my screen. You don't want to see that. This is what you want to see. All right, fellas and filettes, I will see you right on the other side. Hang on a second. Something done. Something done gone wrong, fellas. Hang on. Hang on. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. No, no, no. Sometimes YouTube is a fucker. Nick Fuckstein. All right. This is what you want. No, that's not what you want. Hang on. <sighs> Jaffy, Jaffy, Jaffy. Here you go, fellas. human beings it is jaffe uh this is the break while i am recording this the show has yet to start but amazingly the show is in full swing at this point as you see this we are taking our six minute break i just want to remind you tomorrow night is our gavin and games first ever game night uh we are going to be playing among us and we are going to be playing phasmophobia um i don't know what that sound was it was weird um here's the point if you're a member of gavin and games which you can get details on uh you know, in the about of this live stream, uh, you will have priority seating for Among Us and you will have priority seating uh, for Phasmophobia. I'm also giving away later tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll get you details later, uh, three copies of Phasmophobia that if you don't have it and then you're a member, I'll get, I'll get you a copy over on the Discord um, for up to three people uh, if you can guarantee you can play with us tomorrow night. And then obviously you don't have to win that to play. Those games run anywhere from five to half an hour, so five minutes to half an hour. So we'll, you know, roll new people in all the time. And it, obviously, if you're not a member, you can still play, but we got to make sure there's no members waiting first, right? Okay, so there's that. Uh, Wednesday is the Halloween special instead of a normal stream. I still haven't figured out all the details yet, but it will be spooky. It will be fun. I don't know if we'll be doing any game stuff, but it will definitely be a fun, spooky time. And then Saturday, October 31st. Not sure on the time yet, but it's around 6 o'clock, give or take, California time, Pacific time. We're doing our first ever Gavin Game movie night. That is for uh, uh, Cult of Calypso and uh, 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 God of War tier members. Um, and that will be over on Twitch. And we're not sure yet what we're watching, but it'll be a horror movie. So all this is an advertisement basically to say, hey, you interested in being a member? There's lots of perks. Oh, what are they? No worries, pal. Check on the link down below. You can see A, how you can become a member. Just click on the join thing and you can go to a document that I've written about all the good shit you get if you're a member. Okay, that's it. I'm going to show you a trailer right now and I hope you're doing well and I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. See you. Bye. <laughs> Once upon a time, in the great Arkansas Kingdom. Jack one simple mission. Find the wizard and destroy him. The Big Toe. A boy was digging at the edge of the garden 
when he saw a big toad. He tried to pick it up, but it was stuck to something. So he gave it a good hard jerk, and it came off in his hand. Then he heard something groan and scamper away. The boy took the toe into the kitchen and showed it to his mother. It looks nice and plump, she said. I'll put it in the soup and we'll have it for supper. That night, his father carved the toe into three pieces and they each had a piece. Then they did the dishes and when it got dark, they went to bed. The boy fell asleep almost at once, but in the middle of the night, a sound awakened him. It was something out in the street. It was a voice, and it was calling to him. Where is my toe? It groaned. When the boy heard that, he got very scared, but he thought, it doesn't know where I am. It will never find me. Then he heard the voice once more. Only now it was closer. Where is my toe? It groaned. The boy pulled the blankets over his head and closed his eyes. I'll go to sleep, he thought. When I wake up, it will be gone. But soon he heard the back door and again he heard the voice. Where is my toe? It groaned. Then the boy heard footsteps move through the kitchen, into the dining room, into the living room, into the front hall. Then slowly they climbed the stairs. Closer and closer they came. Soon. They were in the upstairs hall. Now they were outside his door. Where is my toe? The voice groaned. His door opened. Shaking with fear, he listened as the footsteps slowly moved through the dark toward his bed. <laughs> Are you scared? You should be. Hey, my hat's on wrong. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I couldn't find my mask. Yes, I'm going to play Pumpkin Jack right now, Michael Myers. Hang on. I'm finishing up my little, what's this called, quest bar. It's pumpkin hat. Wait, 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 wait. Quiet night. You're getting chest pains. You're really scared. Okay, wait a minute. Are we joking here or not? If you're serious, here's a couple of questions. Are you prone to anxiety? Are you prone to hypochondria? Or is this... No, you're not. You think this is real chest pains. You might have to burp. You might have to go to the bathroom. A lot of times if I'm anxious and I think I'm like having a stroke or something, I'll do math in my head to totally take my mind off it and then I'm okay. But if you really think you're having chest pains, then you need to go to the doctor or at least call the emergency or call 911. Right? Quiet night. So do you, I mean, look, you, you don't want to take a risk. You don't want to take a chance. Um, don't worry. I think I'm fine. Okay. Well, let me know if you need me to, I don't know, make a phone call for you or something. But um, that, uh, uh, that, that doesn't sound good. But again, it could just be a burp or it could just be anxiety. Um, 
you know if it were a heart attack, says Johnny, you'd not be able to type. I don't know if that's true, though. You might, you may be right, but I, I, I'd heard a lot of times you can have a heart attack and not even be aware you had one. It's just a subtle fucking thing. There is research and learnings that even Jaffe has stress, anxiety, chest pains. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's something reassuring and learning that even Jaffe has stress, anxiety, chest pains. Oh, fuck yeah. But like I said, I, I've learned to do math. So I'll go, if I'm feeling like, okay, is this a real problem I'm dealing with? I'll sit there and I'll say, um, uh, you know, what's 17 times four minus six? And I, I have to think about that. I'm like, okay, 17, I have to do it in my head. And, and at that point, if I come out of the math problem solved and I'm still feeling it, I'm like, okay, maybe this is a real fucking thing. Jaffe, with that hat, you look like the type of dude to say thank you after sex. I always say thank you after sex anyway. Your mom demands it. Um, there's a guy in the chat, says Bacon, who named himself after a horrible action that involves a person enduring multiple orgasms from people. Maybe because he participated, he was the one faking it. Okay. Um, he's talking about COVID chest pains. Just try not to think of it and relax. If it persists, don't be afraid to call for help. That's true, too, because, I mean, truth of the matter is... Um, uh, uh, you're going to stress yourself with math. No truth of the matter is a lot of times these days, I mean, trust me, people die of heart attacks all the fucking time, but there's a lot of people these days who are, uh, cured. Uh, you know, they go to a hospital, um, and they go home the same day after having a, a stint put in. I told somebody this the other night cause his, his dad was in the hospital with chest pains and it wasn't a heart attack. It was the medicine, but um, and I said, you know, it's funny, my dad, uh, had a heart attack 20 something years ago, maybe more 30. And he went into the hospital and they had to do like double bypass surgery. And it was a big deal. Um, and then my mom, a couple of years, like 15 years ago, 10 years ago, um, it turned out that they said, you're not having a heart attack, but you could, cause you're really clogged up your arteries and they, she went into the hospital. They literally put a, uh, a, 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 a line up, I think by her groin or her foot or her somewhere. And it went into her heart and they inflated a little balloon. I think it's called a stent. Um, and suddenly she's like, this feels great. And like, yeah, you can, you you have blood flow again. And she went home. I mean, so there's a lot, you know, it's, it's not the death sentence that it used to be if you get to it in time. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, this is, no, this is not free. This is Pumpkin Jack. You can acquire said game. Uh, where is it? Wait, where's my screen, man? There's OBS, hang on. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a maroon. You can acquire Pumpkin Jack uh, on... Steam. Hang on. What is happening? Why do I have two windows open? I know what I'm doing. I fucked up. Okay. It's on Steam. Right now, it's a launch price. I think it's a launch price for $23. It's usually like $27 or something like that. But this is Pumpkin Jack. Um, we are going to play it. I know I have a graphics card that might make it look better, but I don't want to set all that up. I'm not sure how to do it. Um... Jaffe bringing busy desktop. Oh, I know. I know, Trey. I know. Kevin Smith was having a heart attack. He had no idea. He said he was feeling nauseous. And then he got other... Si right. I remember that, Bukaki. All right. You guys let me know if the mix is good. This is... I don't believe... Somebody was telling me this is not on PSN yet. This is just on Steam. Maybe Switch. I think it's on Switch, too. It might be on PSN, actually. I'm not sure. All this talk about Pumpkin Jack, I'm kind of curious if they made Jack Daniels with pumpkin flavor. That's a good idea. Okay, start your journey. Oh, skin selection. Let's see. There's old Pumpkin Jack, the pumpkin, the lumber, the cowboy. Okay. Now, remember, this is all made by one dude. Think about that the next time you're like, I want to make a game. Yeah, well, fucking do it. Yes, this is on PC. Um, the sound is good. Okay. Bill Burr, SNL, Pumpkins. I haven't seen that one yet, though. I do remember Jersey Devil. I absolutely do. All right, how's that? Oh, I didn't get the logo again, you guys. I'm sorry. Well, I'll give it this so far. It's very Halloween-y.
You gotta unlock Samurai at some point? What do you mean? Oh, it's very much Judy like medieval. It's, I mean, he says, he says he's inspired by, um, medieval and he's inspired by, um, Jack and Daxter, all those sort of 90s platformers. He directly name drops them and says, yeah, those were his inspiration. The look and vibe, I agree, Eric, it's great. Mar Mario Heat says the game sucks already. Fair enough, sir. You just go on being a grumpy Gus. It's on Xbox One, okay. No amount of hat will make this game good, says Mario. You haven't even seen it! You ha In some cultures, crow skulls are good luck and ward off evil. Okay, good to know, Al. Um, you get a special surprise if you play Batman Arkham on Halloween. Alright, let's see. Is this a member salute game or some other shout out? What? I don't understand, Johnny. I wonder if I should get that phone. Oh, if I get the samurai costume. Um, I'm riding with Biden, Michael Myers. All right, let's focus, Jaffe. Let's focus. There's a lot of these games you want to collect everything, or at least I do. But I'll try to get through the game without 100%ing it so you guys can see it. I don't know if he outsourced anything. I mean, it was one guy. Like, Rob the Mod is doing his own game. Um, but if he ends up finishing it and shipping it, it wouldn't surprise me um, if he didn't... Oh, I love that art. If he didn't go out and uh, get some, you know, external art resources. Just because I don't, I don't think he considers himself an artist. Uh, am I able to make drawn death chat emojis? Yeah, in fact, I need members... Uh, over on the community tab of YouTube, I need I need to know we, we have two more emotes uh, that we can fill on YouTube now. We have enough members, and I'm trying to figure out what they should be. So, if you guys want to leave me a message over there, uh, let me know. Not so bad, Jack. You've shaken off the cobwebs. It does feel good to have my own body again. You really put them to the test from here that are monsters ahead. You shouldn't have any trouble. Well, I've never been one to turn down a chance to bash some heads, says Pumpkin Jack. Fair enough, pal. But why should they attack me? Has nobody told them I'm on their side? They can't be told anything, Jack, you fucking moron. Monsters are mindless miscreants. They can barely tell each other apart, let alone something like you, you fuckstick. Pumpkin or not, you're still a human. That alone makes you their target. Oh, that's why the devil needs me. He needs someone who can think like a man. The new enemy is clever, Jack. He needs someone just as clever. I see. And he doesn't mind that I'm cutting down his monsters. Hoo, hoo, hoo. They're practically worthless. Do what you must. Get the job done. Um, my GameStop order where I got Crash 4 Ghost has not been canceled. What? You don't like the font? Sorry, pal. Um, this is a great stre stream service game. You know the quality that will come with streaming? Oh, bacon. My God. What a maroon. What a maroon. Oh, that, that was you, Bacon Magma. Can he go in the water? I don't think so. Guess not. Well, that's very 90s. Okay, let's not get in the water again. Are you going to be Stiltskin? I was going to be Stiltskin just a minute ago. I can't find my mask. I think my kids took it. What's this? That's a bucket. Okay, I'm running. There we go. The enemies are coming up. I just got to get past this. I love that. I know it's a very simple character, and he's not the first humanoid pumpkin head I've seen. Marvel has a, uh, 
a comic book. I think it's called Nocturnals or something. Um, wait, sometimes the best way to win a fight is to walk around it. And there's a character with a pumpkin head, but I, I, I always love that motif. In fact, I'm going to watch this weekend. I'm going to watch Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I've decided. Um, is there an actual genre for quirky, minor, Halloween, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff? I don't know. It's maybe just one that I love. I love I love this time of year. Jack-o'-lantern is a Marvel bad guy. That's true, too. Yes. Did I go this way already? I wanted to get in voice chat and ask something. Yeah, go ahead, man. Well, yeah, just jump into voice chat. I'll bring you in. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I'm an idiot. Yeah, you can call in any time. I got to get my Elgato card working on my PC games. Shit. Because I hate having to look over at the chat now that I've gotten spoiled when I play Elgato games. I have my chat right here. And so I, I never miss anything. Let me get that phone real quick, guys. Hang on. I want to make sure nothing's going on. You're not going to believe who that was. That's the Amazon guy. He's like, uh, I have a package, but I don't know where to go. I'm like, what? All right, hang on a second. What's happening? What? No. My birthday's on Halloween. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, man. Happy fucking birthday, sir. Where did my controller go? That's the deal. Oh, wait. That's the microphone. God damn it, Jaffe. Hang on, guys. Please work. God damn it. Okay. Now there now there's no sound. Now the, that's why. Okay. Okay. Now there is a possibility I may have to go get this package. Hey, it might be my PS5. That's right. Can you imagine? I wouldn't take it. Well, what depends who sent it to me. Depends who sends it to me. Okay. Is this another owl? No more talking. It's back. It's back. Flap away, everyone. Flap for your lives. Oh, great, small birds. Let me through, you fucksticks, before I pluck you all raw. Stay away from us, Scarecrow. I've got claws. Me, a common Scarecrow. I am Jack. The greatest rogue to ever live. Uh, Wait, he's got legs. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. See, I'm no scarecrow. Let me through, you corvid creeps. Not so fast, it seems to be. Oh, Jesus, come on, man. Just fuck you kids of shit. I don't need a fucking play. Um... I watched your video on the console boxes. It was accurate. I know. I know. Oh my god. 
I promise you I will be right back. I promise. This guy is the dumbest delivery person in the world. Just leave the thing at the front door. I'll be right back. Can we please settle in and fucking play a game now? Jesus. Jesus. Fuck this guy trying to safely get my package to me. I know. I'm gonna know I'm streaming. Okay, what's my attack? Wait, is this guy my friend? Okay. Hello, whatever name works. Good to see you, pal. Okay. Where's my weapon? Oh wait, shit. Hang on. Uh, you guys like Jaffe, get your shit together. Okay, uh, Heath, you wanted to call in. That's all working now if you want to call me. I love the art though. I love the way this looks. Left bumper, what does it do? I don't understand it. Am I sh oh, the crow's attacking it. I see. I see. Okay, got it. Uh, Nodog, you've played this before? So everyone make enough space in their PS5s have cleared out a room. Oh, yeah. Um, Did you finish it? What did you think? Halfway through. Do you like it? Do you like it? Ooh, nice. Is there anything in there to collect or is it just stuff? You'll love the mine cars. It doesn't look bad, Magic Circle. No, it's fun. I mean, it's, you know, it's. I just started. Let's put it this way. I was playing yesterday. Um, yeah, I was playing Medieval yesterday and I did not like that game. Um, and I thought I would get around to figuring it out. And a lot of people on the stream love the remake and I just couldn't vibe with it. But this is already more enjoyable than that. But I mean, this is also more modern game design sensibilities. So that's better. Oh, it's a nine out of 10 from you. Holy shit. Somebody on my Twitter today said their friend made this game. They're like, oh, you're playing the game my friend made. I'm like, oh, shit. Cool. I guess there's no wedge grab. You've been playing Day Days Gone, um, Zan Moff. You like that more than Last of Us. Everybody says that's a really, uh, you know, underrated game. People have been like, I don't know why that game got such shit kind of, you know, reputation. Uh, I know Rob tells me that's his game of the year, so I I'm definitely want to play that game. Did you draw any of the artwork from Drawing to Death? A little bit, Trey, but not, not like good art. It was like, you know, I had my kids and their friend got to do some skybox stuff and everything, like, in, in one of the levels, but not, not in any meaningful way, no. Not, it was, it was more like Easter eggs and stuff. Wait, what, what, what? Oh, shut up, Crow, you fuckhead. My wife wants to buy a $1,400 purse, this bandit. Can you convince her to buy a new console? You know what, honestly, don't, you really don't want me to give you an opinion on that. What the fuck does your wife want a $1,400 purse for? That would be my honest question. And ask her if her priorities are straight. You know what, you tell her to go buy the purse, but tell her to go watch the movie, um, the minimalist first. Nobody needs a fucking $1,400 purse to store more shit they don't need. Come on now. 
The combat is better than medieval so far. There's monster essence everywhere. Break stuff to restore your health. Got it. That's what it does. I mean, not to be judgy about it, buddy. Um, I don't mean to be judgy. I'm just saying that's a lot of fucking money to spend on a fucking purse. And if it's like, oh, but it makes me feel better, then ask yourself what's lacking in your life where you need objects to make you feel better. And then she might say, well, my marriage, I don't know. I don't want to open up a can of worms. I'm just saying, you know, you just got slapped. That happened, sir. Oh, what was that? Oh, he's got a kid. Look at that. Doom, doom. All right, well, this guy's a, a merchant. You can talk. This game or medieval? This game, for sure. Uh, the chat's on lock? No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, call in, put yourself in voice party chat. Um, that's not locked. Uh, update on softball. Oh, Trey played. I went hard twice in our last game of the year, making three home runs after being out of softball for six years. Good for you, man. That's amazing. Yeah, I'll drag you into the chat. Thanks, Bukaki. This is full Halloween. I'm not here to hurt you. Are you sure you look like a monster to me? Rotten, half-dead, soulless. Of course, I'm a salesman. Oh. Well, now I just want to kill you anyway. No, 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 stop! At least browse my wares first. What are you selling? Skins, see? I harvest the skins of interesting dead people for other people to wear. Mm, clothes, too. Mm. Oh, right. Well, I won't kill you, but I want a discount. By all means, fuckface. Please, take a look at my vagina. I mean, just take a look. All right, what do we got? Oh, oh, that's why I've been collecting the crows. I see. Okay, I'm going to save up for the samurai. Um, <laughs> uh, Bacon Magma and I finally agree. Well, no, we don't. Nobody needs a $1,400 purse. Well, nobody don't need a membership, but that's subjective. Well, okay, you're absolutely right. People do not need a membership. However, the membership is a lot less than 1400 and the membership also gets you a number of things that I would say are valuable. Now, we can have a real discussion, and I'm serious. I'm not fucking with you. I think materialism is a fucking sickness. I think if you buy a membership to this stream or a, a movie service or anything where you can talk to people and engage with people and hang out with people, you're getting something of value there that's good for your soul. If you're literally saying you think it's worth taking that huge amount of money to buy a purse on, you know, it's judgy of me and I apologize, but I don't, I, I think that's really mentally unhealthy. Now, it's none of my business, but to be fair, he asked, so I'm gonna answer. If you don't want my opinion, if you don't want my opinion, don't bring it up. But that's what I think. And that's also out of experience. I used to be a guy that liked to buy all kinds of shit. And then I sort of learned, I'm not saying everybody needs to live like a monk, and I'm not saying everybody needs to live like me. But I absolutely think that we in the West need to do a better job of thinking about, you know, everything from fast fashion um, to, you know, electronics made with rare earth materials that are made under really suspicious circumstances. I mean, we're complicit otherwise. So, you know, that's all I'm saying. Um, Eddie says, I like the membership. Eddie, I'm glad you do. I appreciate that, sir. Do we get charged the first? <laughs> the fleshlight is good for the soul. It might be. Uh, I, do we get charged the first of every month? I have no idea how that works, actually. Uh, I don't, I would assume it's on the day you signed up a month after the day you signed up, but I honestly don't know that. I can find out though. But off the top of my head, I don't know. Upvote says she makes great money at her job and works for her things. It was mostly a joke. Oh, I know. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying she's like a kept woman or anything. I'm just I'm I'm literally saying I do think we have a problem in our society where people value material goods way too much and it's probably not healthy for us as a society. And I'm not saying your wife is like that. Maybe this woman saved up for 10 years for this person and has wanted it since she was a little kid. I don't fucking know. 
I'm really more thinking about that. There's a rapper who bought a Pokemon card, uh, a rare Pokemon card recently, and he paid 250k for it. And I'm just like, dude, really? And he's like, well, I got it because I wanted it when I was a kid. I'm like, I get that, man. But there are people who are fucking starving. There are children tonight going to bed without enough food. And I'm not saying that's his problem or his job. I'm just saying, you know, you got to put things in perspective a little bit, you know? Uh, oh, Heath Nation. There we go. All right, hang on a sec, guys. We'll keep playing the game. Let me just bring in Heath real quick. Heath Nation, what's going on, man? Are you there? Oh, I'm muted. I'm muted. Hang on. Okay, are you there? Yeah, um, before I start, a uh, special shout out to Bukaki for explaining all this to me. <laughs> Don't give Bukaki any fucking credit. That guy, the police came to me and said, if you can use him on your stream, we won't throw him in the pokey. That's it. <laughs> That's it. So the fact that he's, the, the fact that he's walking free is enough gratitude. That's, that's, he's good. So, but yeah, Bukaki's awesome. Bukaki's fantastic. He's got the best fucking voice in the world. I wish my voice sounded like Bukaki. That guy sounds like a fucking radio fucking shock jock star. He's awesome. Doesn't he have like the uh, Sam Elliott voice going? It kind of, kind of, but it's it's a little deeper than Sam Elliott. It's more like, he sounds like a, a an old West prospector. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Kind of like a Johnny Cash type of thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to talk about? What's going on, pal? Well, I just wanted to ask you, because I went meant to ask you this during the Gavin uh, part, because we were talking about a lot of controversy. I wanted to ask you about the whole Rooster Teeth debacle, everything that's going on with Rooster Teeth, and okay. how you feel about that stuff. You have to educate me a little bit. I've seen the headlines. I know there was an executive at Rooster Teeth, which if you guys listening don't know, that's like a an internet media company. I want to say they've invested in kind of funny games. Um, they used to make videos, and they're they're kind of just like a kind of funny, but much bigger. I think they have the rights. Kind of like, Go ahead. Kind of like the ones that made like the original Machinimas. Right. Think about it. And they have Ruby, right? Don't they have the rights to that Ruby series and shit? But anyway, the one of the main executives or CEO or something was forced to leave. I guess because was he doing sexual assault or something? What was the specifics? Okay, so correct my mind is kind of vague on this, but um, he would go out of town to like do like these uh, like conferences or gaming events or whatnot. But in reality, he was going to see um, girls that were under the age of uh, eighteen. Wait, he he course, said he said he was going to a conference, but he was actually going to date eight under eighteen year olds. Like yeah, eighteen year old like under eighteen, and okay. it's like they he basically um was like sending them like dick pics over like the internet and shit like that. Were the just just let me get some context. Were these like rooster teeth conventions, and he would go, but he when he went he ended up having sex with minors and shit, or this was like, there was no convention. He was just meeting somebody I in a think, hotel. Yeah, that's the second one, the latter, basically. Okay. And then not that it matters from a legal standpoint, but was it like he had sex with a girl who was 17 and she would be 18 in two weeks, or are these eight-year-olds? I mean, what do you mean when you say under 18? Like, um, like I think there was like some that were like, 14, 15, maybe 16. Okay, so, okay. Well, okay, so not like, he, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, you know, skirting the issue because, okay, I mean, not that it matters, but okay. So this was definitely inappropriate and he, he should have known a hell of a lot better. Um, okay, so, oh, yeah. okay, so he got laid off, fired. Mm-hmm. Well, that company is just a, basically, the internet put it best, it's like a dumpster fire and a half because you got people of course being laid off because Rooster Teeth is a part of the whole Warner Media debacle they got on oh, where them, they're laying okay. off a bunch of people because of basically trying to prepare for uh, HBO Max that's okay. what I gathered Okay. so it's basically just becoming like machinima at this point and I honestly think that company is going to get shut down within two years got because it. of everything that has gone on I okay. want to hear your take on it. Well, yeah. I mean, look, I, 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 I absolutely believe that there are reasons we have um, 
laws that adults shouldn't be able to have sex with minors. So I think he really fucked up and he did something awful. And beyond that, depending on the mental state of these women or these young girls or young women, um, hopefully they're not damaged. Hopefully it, it, it was just inappropriate sex, but it was consensual and they, you know, aren't going to be damaged by it. And, it. and it didn't feel like actual, I mean, it was abuse, but it didn't feel like something awful to them like rape or something. But certainly I agree with the, uh, I agree, I, I agree, I agree with the laws. Um, I think, you know, sometimes I think sometimes it's, um, it's a little different. Like if you're 19 and your girlfriend's 17, you know, and I don't have a problem with that. If you're eight, if, if you're 18 and your girlfriend's 16, and it's like, if you're in that range and it's just like, look, I graduated high school one year before she did or whatever, that's very different, but this sounds like he was a grown professional man stooping some teenage girls. I think he should have gotten fired. He probably should go to jail. I mean, are they are, are they are they yeah. pressing charges? They're looking. I don't know. They're looking into like all the allegations and all that. The guy's name, of course, is Ryan Haywood. He was like the guy that did a lot of the achievement hunter with uh, Michael, Gavin, Jack, Jeff, all of them. Jeff's actually facing a bunch of allegations too. The thing about Ryan was, this guy was, I think he served in the military, middle okay. aged man, married with uh, two children. It's like, why would you want to um, do something that basically compromised them as well as you? You know, it's just way beyond my head. Well, I mean, I you know, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I mean, again, I, I, I don't. Let, let's take out the illegal and nasty part of it, which is these girls were underage because that's sort of a mental take that I can't really get my head around. But if you're just talking about yeah, why, where you're coming from. but yeah, but if you're just talking about why do men or women, but why do people have affairs when they have a perfectly good relationship at home? I mean, that's just a lot of people do, you know, there's a Chris rock joke where he says, um, a man is only faithful as his options. And I don't think that's absolutely true, but I think maybe in the case of this guy, he was just sort of like, you know, he loves his wife maybe, but, or maybe not. Maybe his marriage was going shitty. I have no idea. But for every, for everybody who has an affair, male or female, there's usually a reason. Um, so, yeah, but for, you. but for me, that's excusing. I have no problem if people cheat on their spouses. I, I don't like it. But to me, that's just a sign that something's wrong in the marriage and you guys need to work on that. I don't believe people need to be married forever. I think certain relationships have a shelf life and sometimes uh, an affair is what it takes to get you to realize that. But when you're talking about underage sex, that's totally different. That's just absolutely horrific and terrible. Absolutely. Well, it's just, like I said, Rooster Teeth has basically just, it's basically a dumpster fire and a half because everyone's been getting laid off. I want to talk to you about that from the business aspect because by the way, just so Mr. you know, T people, people in the chat are saying it's allegations against this guy. So yeah, appa apparently there's yeah, no proof saw, yet. Well, they just released a uh, Ryan, um, Rob, your other fantastic, uh, modder. Oh yeah. Um, he just said that the allegations against Jeff were uh, false. I think they confirmed that like, like a day ago, I want to say, um, but I wanted to look at it from a business aspect because when Rooster Teeth came around, it was kind of like basically a company for gamers by gamers. And when they got sucked in by uh, Warner through full screen, that's kind of like where everything just went south. Okay. And I'm just, I wanted, because I know you're a liberal progressive and i yep. know you're not a big fan of a big corporation does big corporations like that have a huge effect on gaming companies to the point where they're basically causing a downfall like this it's 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 like always it's team? it's ever it's always different right so i think you can look at um companies like sony that historically have been excellent when it comes to when they acquire small developers um, the, you know, you can't name a lot of relationships or a lot of companies that Sony has acquired that you're like, oh yeah, they screwed the pooch on that. You know, I mean, certainly sometimes they shut down because the companies don't deliver financially like zipper 
or something. Um, I'm assuming Zipper shut down because Mag didn't sell and, and whatnot, even though it was a great fucking company. But you never really hear people complaining that their cultures got absolutely decimated because Microsoft, uh, X, Sony purchased them. But for a while, you were hearing that if you got purchased by Microsoft, you may very well kind of lose your soul. Same thing with EA. So I think it's less about the big company buying you that's automatically bad and more about making sure, you know, who you're going to bed with, basically. It's like, why do they want to buy you? Why do you want to be bought? Some companies want to be bought because the, the, the people with the stock are just looking for an exit strategy and they don't really care. They just want to be done. They've risked a lot and they've worked their asses off for five, six, seven years. And now they have a way out and they're going to be gone after four years because their key man contract says you have to stay employed at the company after we acquire you for four or five years. And then when they're gone, they're like, I don't give a fuck. And some people, I imagine Ted Price is in it for the long haul at Insomniac. And he's like, we signed with Sony and we sold to Sony because it was good business. And we trust those guys to, to sort of let us continue to do what we do well. Yeah, um, to that point about the contracts, I think that's what happened with uh, Joel Heyman, who was like one of the co-founders of uh, Rooster Teeth. And he basically, basically the same thing you've been saying, he knew that he was only going to be there for a certain amount of time. So he was just like, fuck it. And that's why he um, posted all that uh, stuff on Twitter, talking about uh, the Chinese virus, COVID, and uh, um, John McCain and all that stuff. Oh, I, I, I don't follow he, him. I don't know what he posted. Yeah, he was just posting a lot of uh, random, like, out of character stuff and people are like how are you not uh fired from rooster Teeth?" they're like he's like what are you talking about i already am and because he knew exactly what was going to happen he was on the way out yeah so that, yeah. that it, it really depends man so i don't know like i know that dc comics which is part of warner just laid off a bunch of people but to be perfectly fair oh, yeah well to be perfectly fair i mean i'm a huge comic fan and what they're saying i mean like they kept jim lee um, they are really trying to do something different and they're trying to really start to get away from physical comics to a large extent and really become a digital comics company. And I don't know if the people they got rid of just weren't behind that vision. Um, I have no idea why a lot of those people got laid off, but I think if you're Warner Brothers, um, just like if you're Disney and you're looking at your assets, you go, we have these amazing properties in comic books. And it's really lame that these people work their asses off in comic books and were only able to sell at best 100,000 copies every fucking month. So hopefully they're going to get in there and sort of digitize it and bring it up to modern standards and, and we'll end up with a, a healthier comic business. But anyway, it's it, every company that gets acquired and every change that happens after the acquisition, there's always a different reason for it. Yeah. Um Rooster Teeth, I think that's what's going on here with Rooster Teeth. A lot of those people are getting laid off, and the people that are not necessarily being laid off, they're going to be basically dissolved and used into making something better for uh, Warner, such as HBO Max, making cartoons for HBO Max and uh, Cartoon Network and all of them. I think it's not my opinion. There was some other YouTuber that brought this up. I'm just basically referring to what they said in that video. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I don't really follow Rooster Teeth. I know that Rooster Teeth has some kind of ownership, I think, in kind of funny games, right? What was that? Doesn't Rooster Teeth have an ownership stake in kind of funny games? Or I'm thinking about that incorrectly. Um, I don't. No, they probably do, and I just we probably don't know about it. Right, okay. It's barely, like, talked about. But I know they have their own studio that, like you said, they produce Ruby, Red vs. Blue, and all of them. Right. Because those people, those people might be going over to work with uh, Cartoon Network or on HBO Max. Right, or they might be bringing, or, they might be bringing Ruby to HBO Max. That That's true, too. You so, never know. Yeah. All right, man. Well, good, good information. I appreciate you educating me on that. I had heard some stuff about it sort of peripherally, but now I actually know what's going on over there. All I can tell you is if that guy actually was uh, having sex with kids that were, you know, underage, I was going to say, like, again, I, I really don't have a problem 
Uh, I have a 17 year old daughter, for example. If my 17 year old daughter started dating a guy who was 19, okay, it's officially illegal that they would, you know, be intimate. But I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. I don't have a problem with that. But when you're talking mm -hmm. about a god goddamn grown up having sex with with underage people, that's a real problem. And if that turns out to be true, most importantly, I hope the girls are okay. But I also think his oh, ass yeah. needs to be thrown in jail. I think if it all this most of the stuff comes true, you might see him in jail. Right, but again, um, Rob, the, the chat is saying it's allegedly. So you know, obviously, you know, uh -huh. in it used to be in America, you're you know innocent until proven guilty. Obviously, that's changed because you know mm -hmm. why not? Um, Rob the mod. Um, that company is called Funhouse. Rob the mod uh, just typed it in chat. Oh right, yeah, Funhouse is uh, is them too. Mm -hmm. But okay. even then, that's starting to dissolve. But, um, yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you for taking time to, uh, listen to my call. Always to, uh, call back anytime, pal. Love that you're here. Love you're part of our community. And uh, I love you're hanging out with us. Call back anytime you want to chat. That's what it's for. Absolutely. All right. See you, man. Bye-bye. Uh, I'll enjoy the rest of the stream. Thank you. All right. So there you go. That was, uh, Heath Nation our newest member of the God of Wars. Oh shit, what are you doing, Jaffe? All right, oh yeah, Rob's here. Where you been, Robert? What the fuck is going on, Rob? Goddamn Bukakis had been carrying your ass all day. Come on now. Don't you guys have bad weather, Rob, right now and there's shit going on? I don't know where Inky's been, but you know, we get that with this stream. I assume every, every stream Trey gets that. Like we used to have a guy who called himself no calm and he watched the stream religiously. He was on every stream. He was there first in line. It was back when we were on Twitch and, um, it just one day he just vanished and it's like, I don't know what happens, man. Oh, I want, I want to get the order 1886 and played on stream because I've never, never done that oh shit rob somebody got your credit card fuck i know you said you were having bank problems did you deal with it did you get your did you get it sorted out okay where am i going jaffy you can bully sega to port condemned to on pc yeah i'll try i'll see what i can do i do need to play that again i haven't played that for a very long time Here's what I'll tell you, fellas. I like this game so far. I don't love it yet, but it's really solid. Um, and I am absolutely enjoying it more than I enjoyed Medieval. Go figure. Upvote, yes, the three codes tomorrow are already accounted for. Uh, I think it's Heath, Bukaki, and um, Seb Sab are getting the codes. It gets trickier, not dog. Um, yeah, Rob, for sure. I, I agree with Kronos. I hope they figure that shit out. Okay, where are we going, folks? Chaffee, a maroon. I'm going to go over there. That's where I got to go. Okay. Shadowfall. I don't know. Did I play Shadow? What is Shadowfall? It sounds familiar, but I don't know if I've played it. Wait, didn't I already come down this way? I'm a little confused. I think I already came. Did I come down this way already? It's kind of hard to tell. Everything sort of looks the same. Wait, is this where I came in? Fuck you. Oh, for God's sakes. For God's sakes. How involved was I in PSP God of War? I was involved very much at the beginning um, when we were finding the developer. In fact, I think it was the developer Ready at Dawn that reached out to us. And we had initial meetings and I kind of worked with them a little bit on the kickoff story. And then after that, I was pretty much not involved. Um, I don't know if I was just working on other games or if I had already left Sony. I don't remember the specifics, but I mean, I definitely was engaged with it 
as studio creative director, but it was, you know, they're, they're an amazing team. And once we kind of got them set up and everybody was like, okay, these are the rules of a God of War game, they, they were kind of off to the races. They, they, they didn't need a lot of help. I mean, that's the thing, when you hire good people, you know, whether it's hiring Corey to be the new director or hiring a great team like that, you know, the hardest part is getting them on staff or getting them hired and then you're, then you're good to go. Uh, no, this is not open world. I don't know if I'll play Kinetica, Eddie. Because, I mean, I will if people want me to. I only worked on Kinetica for about four months. Like, I finished Twisted Metal Black. Hang on a second. Okay. Did I already do this? I'm so confused. I finished Twisted Metal Black, and they needed help, and so I came and helped that game for a little bit. But that's kind of all I did on it. Um, Ready at Dawn just got acquired by Amazon, actually. So there's another, no, f Facebook or Amazon? I wanna say it's Amazon. If it is Amazon, there's another good thing, like for Luna. They may have gone to them and said, hey, we want you guys for Luna to make exclusive games. And I can't think of a better acquisition for that. Okay, where the fuck am I going? I don't understand. Hello, Danny, is the stream, is the game good? So far, um, I like it. Okay, what am I doing though? I'm, I'm getting a little lost in this particular level because everything kind of looks the same. Okay, that's the way I came. I can't go up there. So I'm kind of confused. Yeah, they shut down their recent game and then they have this game called some kind of colonization game that I actually heard wasn't bad, like free to play. But that was like Amazon Internal Studios. But if they bought Ready at Dawn, if I'm right about that, um, then I think that's a great buy for those guys. Okay, I think I have to go up there to the blue light, okay. The problem with games made by one person is they often don't have really good focus tests. Or sorry, play test. So maybe the guy didn't have the resources to... No! Oh, good. There we go. Um, Facebook bought Ready at Dawn. Okay, yeah, no, then, then I'm wrong. Okay, yeah. I knew it was one of the two, but yeah, I assume because they had done games for them on the Oculus, for sure. I punched myself in the dick because I remembered I purchased Twist Metal 2012 used. Please forgive me. Yeah, it's okay. Did it come with the Game Pass? Oh, it didn't come with Game Pass. There you go. That's not true. Casper is the ghost of Richie Rich? Are you shitting me? Listen to the Halloween music. I love it. Listen to the Halloween music. I love it. This is a really good game. This is really well made. One guy? One guy made this fucking thing? What are you talking about? Amazing. What the fuck? I don't know what I'm doing now. Um, wait a minute. I want to. Okay, Simpson did the Casper Richie Rich thing. Yeah, but is it true? 
Is it true? Uh, oh shit, Rob, the person who stole your information was a McDonald's employee. Oh, that sucked. Do you know who it was? Like, have they been nice to your face? Um... You bet he didn't do it single-handedly? Yeah, I mean, that's hard to imagine. Okay, I gotta, let me, I'll, I'll get to the chat in just a second, but obviously, as you can tell, I have to, this demands my full attention, then I'll look at the chat. I apologize, you guys. I, I, I don't understand. Oh, it's a joke. Richie Rich was uh, not the ghost. It's a good idea, though. Okay, what am I doing wrong? I got further that time. Um... Think about this though, whether this game was made with one people, one people, one person, or one person outsourcing, or one person, or five people. Th if, if this game had been at E3 back when Crash Bandicoot 2 was at E3, people would have been like, oh my god, have you fucking seen Pumpkin Jack? I mean, it, it, it's amazing. It's amazing, you know, in a handful of years how what is once unattainable by only the best developers become something that a, a hobby programmer can make in his fucking bedroom. I think it's wonderful. Okay, here we go. I see. Oh shit, into the fire, into the fire. Good, you got $400 worth of cocaine upvote instead of a, a purse? Good. Um, wow, you wrecked the place, Jack. But I don't see that awful scarecrow. He must be in the field. Um, did you see the Farman trailer? Oh, I don't like Mel Gibson, but the movie looks great. Is that where he's Santa Claus? You mean Fat Man? Yeah, the trailer looked amazing. I, you know, I talked about this in the stream recently. I can forgive to some extent, even though obviously I don't like Mel Gibson's anti-Semitic views. I don't like his racist views. I'm like, you know what? You can be a racist and an anti-Semite and you suck as a human. But fuck it, you know, you can still fucking entertain me. I, you know, you're a good actor. I like you as a screen presence. And I can, I can hold my nose and enjoy his work. But when I learned that he physically beat up his wife and like broke her teeth and stuff, and he's literally like a, an abuser, like a physical abuser, that's when it's like, you know what, that's, that's a bridge too far. Like you having bad opinions, you have a right to have stupid opinions, um, but when you start actually beating up on people that aren't beating up on you and it's not self-defense, that, that's when I kind of check out and say, yeah, I, I, I can't forgive that. So, um, I sounded like tiny, tiny Tim, the tiptoe through the tulips guy. Jaffe, what's the largest amount of money you saw somebody in the gaming industry make? I mean, I saw the guys at Incognito, wait, who goes there? Show yourself. There he is. Kai is just as menacing as always. Don't be so craven. I'm tiring it. It's just a bog scarecrow. 
Ah, uh, well, look who's here. More fun for me, Birdie. He saw me. Run. Stop wetting yourself. Blah, blah, blah. I'll get you. Blah, blah, blah. You're mean. No, I'm not. You're mean. I'm not. Yes, you're mean. Let's fight. There you go. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I think that, um, that's what I think about Mel Gibson. Um, Bacon says, PS3 had free online, but Sony and others made certain to have passcodes. Um, why did they do that? They did that, um, if you ever want to know one of the main reasons GameStop is struggling to stay in business, they did that because GameStop would not, um kind of fit them into the used game sales, which they, it was not GameStop's, they didn't owe fitting them into the used game sales. But the publisher was like, okay, fine, if you're gonna turn around and sell a game with multiplayer, um, you know, for $2 less a day after it comes out, um, and we're gonna lose all this money off of it, and you're gonna profit, um, that's okay, but we're gonna have to come up with our own solution to it because you're killing our bottom line. And so, you know, it's the same reason, you know, they ran to digital as fast as technologically they could. So that's the reason. I mean, games would come out and you'd see online lobbies where you'd have to pay for all the server costs and shit, and Sony would never see a dime. That's it. Nice. I'd love to heal. Sober Hippie, how am I liking the game? I like it a lot. Um. Stingy Jack, the genius trickster who could fool even the devil himself, has returned to the mortal realm. Don't care. Yes, upvote, we talked about the Xbox stick. I think it's great. I mean, we kicked off the stream talking about that. My guess would be the majority of people who watch this stream and engage with me don't like streaming. They don't like subservices. Some do. But um, but for me, though, um, hang on a sec. Oh, I see. Okay. For me, though, I think it's fantastic. I, I, love, I love that that is... Um, that someday sooner than later, you'll be able to just have an Xbox stick and you won't even have to worry about um, owning the newest console. You just get the stick and you play games and they work. Um, the largest amount of money, I would say some of the guys who sold companies I know, they sold their companies for like 12 million. Um, and the guy who made the most probably got 50% of that 12 million, maybe 25%. So he probably got eh, anywhere from three to four in terms of people I personally know. I mean, people have made a lot more, but that's, you know, the most I know sold their company for 12 million. I think, unless I'm forgetting somebody. Oh yeah, I mean Notch made a shit ton of money. I I I, I don't know Notch. I mean I've, I've I've met him I think once, but and that guy kind of vanished. I don't know if that guy vanished because of the pressure, or he was just kind of a one-hit wonder. I have no idea. I didn't vanish him right here. Oh shit, what's this thing do? This does different moves. Okay, hang on. Pringles. Somebody was asking if I had played Hades. Um, I do. I'm still playing it. I've never escaped Hades, but I love it. 
I'm not as enamored by it as a lot of people seem to be, but it's really good. What the fuck? PSP or Vita? I mean Vita, but I don't like either one of them all that much, truth be told. Zach, you think the Hades has a great game loop, but it slows down because of the dialogue? That's true sometimes. Oh, Trey! Uh, yeah, no, I, I agree, Zach. The, uh... The, uh, sometimes I play that game and it like takes a long time just to get started with a run because you've got to like talk to Achilles, you got to talk to Zeus, you got to talk to Nyx, and it's like it's cool because it's really well written, but sometimes it's just like, oh man, can I just fucking can I just fucking start bashing bad guys and see how far I make it? I agree. Um, yet yeah, Trey Little Nightmares, I need to finish that. I haven't watched it yet. I forgot we were gonna watch the uh, trailer today on stream. Little Nightmares 2 is is uh, just got a bunch of new previews, and people say it's amazing. So yeah, I, w I definitely want to go back to that. I don't remember why I never finished the first one. Swordingo? What is it? I like the shovel more. Uh, Silent Scope, much more than Point Blank. Silent Scope is amazing. Point Blank is fine, but it, the fantasy fulfillment of Silent Scope, and if you don't know what he's talking about, Silent Scope is an arcade game that literally has a, well, it's, not, it's a fake sniper rifle. And there's a monitor, a, a video game monitor inside the sniper rifle. I think Konami makes it. And there's also a video monitor on the big screen. And so when you look into the scope, it actually shows you a sniper's view of what's on the, the giant screen. And it's very tense and very exciting um, and wonderful. You play tested and did voice and guitar riffs for the indie Xbox indie version? Of wait, of what? Of this game? I will check out The Forest. I remember you saying it was great. Um, it's on my list. In fact, I'm going to start a list over on the community tab of YouTube of games that people want to play so I don't forget them. Why did Achilles never make an appearance in the God of War games? Um... I don't know. I mean, not not because I it was there was no reason. It was just you know there's hundreds of gods and demigods and minor characters and I mean Perseus didn't make an appearance appearance in the first one either, so it just probably didn't have any place to fit him. Plus, it was kind of like you know you've picked up Achilles' heel, um, you know now you're really weak if someone hits you in the back or the heel or whatever. That's probably why too. Okay, wait. It's a good game. Okay, I guess that's not... Okay. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I think I have to hit that thing? Okay, guess not. Let me go flip the switch and see what happens. Oh, do I have to move that bomb all the way over there? Okay, okay. Oh, I agree, Circle. Way more entertaining than Medieval. I realize that heel turn sounds a lot like a twisted ankle. Oh, I guess it does. I've never thought about that. Okay, so I guess this bomb just goes... Okay. 
for as long as it can. Don't go over. Oh. Shit, that's not going to end well. Damn it, Jeff, you moron. Wait, Scientology's YouTube channel is always live? What does that mean? Like, what do they have playing on the channel? What is it? Whose idea was it to um, torture the guy um, in God of War? Um, I was mine or Alex Alex Stein's. I don't remember. It may e it may even have been an issue of us not having the resources and going. I want this to happen in the story, and Shannon's like, "Well, we don't really have that many uh, that much art." So can you reuse something? I don't, I really don't remember. But we thought it was hilarious, but I don't remember the, the real birth of that. That's cool. The game always keeps you doing something, you know? I mean, something different, something fresh. It's cool. A game like this will do like it's a 24 25 dollar game you know it's 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 really fun it's really solid i don't think it's that long like i wonder what i don't i don't see this game selling you know a million copies not that it shouldn't i just i wonder it might on switch though not a million on switch i'm saying a million with all of the platforms and it'll probably do really well on Switch. How do I... Oh, I see. It should be at least 20? What do you mean? The following contains scenes as graphic stupidity. I wish they had a pumpkin head skin, you know, the horror movie monster. Yeah. Uh, you mean the trick or treat guy or actually pumpkin head? You'd buy it for 20 bucks? Yeah. It's good. It's really good. And my understanding is it's only three hours long, which means I may actually fucking finish this game. And it's got the dodge on the, uh, it's got the dodge on the circle like Shishima. Hey Jaffe, do you used to check the candy your kids got when they went trick or treating? You goddamn right. As an I, we we did bacon, and then we would say, okay, if you leave half of the candy um, for the great pumpkin at the door, when you wake up, he'll leave you a gift. But if not, you can have all the candy. And so that's how we got them to uh, not eat all of it. And then me and the wife ate all of it, the rest of it. Um, have I played the Hitman games? Not in a long time. People were telling me they were pretty good. And I have, the Hitman games are on Stadia, uh, for Stadia Pros. So I'm going to try it uh, pretty soon. Um, as an adult, says Zach, I find myself wishing more games had five to 10 hour campaigns. 
I would gladly pay full price for something. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm with you, man. Eddie, I like candy corn, too. All right, let me ask you guys a question. I'm trying to get a couple of guests to come on next week for the... Um, let me see what I can do. Hang on. Can I attack? For the uh, Halloween special, right? Hang on. Let me do this first. Hang on. Indy! One guy did this? How long did he work on the fucking thing? There's a lot of good variety in this goddamn game. Better get a little, this is a little too easy. Come on, make it harder. Give me, give me some challenge. That's pretty easy. I'm sure they use it again, it gets harder. Um, four years the guy worked on this. Okay. Um, Upvote says, I was all into open world games till I got married. Now I'm into shorter games. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, I, I, I'm enjoying, like, sometimes an open world game like Ghost Tsushima, I'm fine with because I love being in that world so much. But no, you're right. A lot, of, a lot of them I never finished. Beloved says, it's really impressive one guy made this. It doesn't even look like an indie game. Absolutely. Um, even he used libraries. I don't think he could complete the, th the theme together and level. Um, so no, what I was saying is I'm, there's a couple of guests I'm looking at to come on for Halloween. One of them is, um, I don't, I don't, I haven't reached out to him yet. I tried to get the puppet combo guy, but he says he doesn't really like to do interviews. Um, but he just sent me a code for his new game called Murder House that we'll be playing sometime. Um, but I might, there, there's a, a, a horror novelist um, that I talked to on Twitter and he writes screenplays and books. Um, and I know he's a gamer, so I'm thinking I might see if he wants to come on for 15 or 20 minutes to talk to, talk to us and interview about you know, writing horror books and movies and games and stuff. But I wanted to, before I reached out to him, I wanted to ask you guys, would that be, if I bring a couple of guests on the Halloween special, would someone like that be of interest? Or is it like, yeah, I don't want to hear from a writer. What do you guys think? Um, get the quartering. Yeah, no. He scrapped the game four times. It was originally called Curse of the Scarecrow. Oh, why did he scrap it? Andreas says yes. Master says yes. I dig it. Get Corey. Cor yeah, but Corey doesn't make sense in a Halloween stream. Well, I'm here anyway, Trey. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm 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 putting some I'm putting some. Uh, oh, he kept learning. That's why he kept doing it. Okay, I will I will see if I can get him on for sure. That's great news. And there's somebody else I was going to bring on, but I can't remember who it was. I'll bring on Scott in the future, but Scott doesn't really make sense on a Halloween stream. I like the idea of being people from industry, like writers, creatives, about the industry. Chaotic, thank you so much for uh, the follow. I appreciate it, man. No, I will definitely see if Scott wants to come on in the future, but not for the Halloween stream. I mean, he's welcome to, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Elvira? Yeah, can you imagine? No, she charges a premium.
Alex guy from Stadia, oh my god. Yeah. Sefton Hill. I don't know who that is. Oh, Tim Schaefer. Oh, I know Tim. I can reach out to Tim, maybe. Um, Calypso. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get Calypso on um, Mel McNurin for... Uh, the twisted metal stream if he's ah if he's interested <gasps> you know the names of the guys who played twist uh, played sweet tooth and I, I don't know that guy's name that's amazing It's great, Fox. But I guess what you guys are saying is you would like me to bring on industry guests from time to time. Is that, am I hearing that correctly? Don Coscarelli? I don't know who that is. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, Rocksteady, okay. I would really only want to bring people on whose stuff I, I, I really can speak about. I'm not a big Rocksteady guy, um, so, you know, I don't know much about what they... I mean, I know their games, but I don't know if I could speak to them in, in, in a way that would be a valuable interview. If I interviewed Vin Diesel, I would be like, dude, tell me about that crazy interview with that reporter that one time. That was That's the most cringe interview I think I've ever seen. Where he's flirting with that woman, and I'm just like, dude. Dude, that's lame. Oh, Don Corso. Okay, he did Phantasm. Okay. Bring on one of the Jasons. Okay, I'll, I'll do a little research, fellas. I'll give you some... Uh... Chris, I agree. This game is very inspired by Medieval in terms of its aesthetic. I actually would say I like it better than Medieval. I played Medieval yesterday, the new one, and I did not care for it. Um, I had never spent much time with the first one, but I did like the second Medieval. But this, I think, is really good, and it's definitely better than Medieval Remake, in my opinion. I mean, those might be fighting words for Medieval fans, but... Can we interview Kojima? Um, I, I don't... I mean, I've, I've, I've talked to him a couple of times. I... I I'll, I'll, ah! Let me kind of start with people I know well enough that I don't mind calling and saying, hey, come talk to people. And then if that goes well, we'll, we'll go from there. Shit, Jeff. What, what are you doing? What are you doing?
This makes me nervous. It's like it's supposed to. Kane Hodder? Oh, right. J guy who plays Jason? Oh, get the guy who made this. You know what? I might be able to, because I, 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 let me, maybe. Well, wait, Naw Dog, do you know this guy? Are you the guy on my stream that was telling me you know the guy who made this game? Because somebody was telling me they know this guy. Okay, you just support him. I'll figure out who it is. Well, let me get some health. My ex is about to start doing a lot of uh, podcasts because she's starting a, uh, a, a, a training business, a uh, physical training business. So... I'll, hey, I'll link to the podcast if you want to hear her. She talks, she's really smart about uh, health and fitness and all this stuff. You must go no further. This place does not welcome you. Oh, that's a great idea. Beloved grandson says the guy who made this should make Christmas game next. I love that. Who dares turn me away? I am Jack. Mercenary of the devil himself. I'm the guardian of this place. Good morning, Jack. Don't care. Fuck you. I'm Punkin. I'm Punkin Jack. I'm David Pumpkins. I know David Pumpkins is stupid and it's a dead meme, but it's still fucking. I still think it's funny. Wait, what? 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 No. No. Oh, I see. the fudge? You have to say fudge and not fuck. Oops. This is very nerve-wracking. Although I've beaten Crash 4, I can beat this. I can beat this in my sleep now that I've beaten Crash 4. No, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, Christmas Nights in the Dreams. Oh, I still put that soundtrack on sometimes. I love that music. I'm amazed too, Magic Circle. Please don't send me back to the beginning of the level. Oh, thank God. Has anybody seen the Borat movie yet? Is it good? Better than the first? Is it better than Medieval? Yes, 100%. Um... The creator of Pumpkin Jack is Nicholas Misonier. I DM'd you. Oh, cool. Thanks, Trey. Wait, Trey, do you know him or you just found the guy's name? Okay, you're going to watch it tonight. Zan Moff says it's okay, but it's fun. Okay. Thank you, Trey. I appreciate it, buddy. I don't know if it's better, but it's on par. Okay, cool. He's French. Okay. Bonjour, oui. Je m'appelle David Jaffe. Je pense que je suis un grand fille. That's all I know. And then I'll throw in a little Japanese. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing on this podcast? Uh, Victor Lucas. Oh, he was playing this today. I like Victor. Victor's a good guy. 
Oh shit. Oh. Oh, I'll do an interview with my son and his band. That's a good idea. Do I walk fairly often? I try to. Not as often the last two weeks. It's been hard because my schedule's been off. Um, but yeah, absolutely. There is an Evil Dead. I don't know if it's a good Evil Dead game. And I've never seen the Evil Dead. But I know people love it and I know what it is. Um, but there was an Evil Dead game, I think, on PS2. Good night, Andreas. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Thanks for becoming a member. I appreciate it, bud. We'll see you soon. Have a good weekend, sir. I've never seen Evil Dead 1, never seen Evil Dead 2, no. Um, do I watch any anime? Not really. I'm not opposed to it. I just... It's just not in my rotation. I've seen some. I always love the art style and the action scenes, but I've never really... The longest consistent anime I ever watched was uh, Sword Art Online which I thought was great and then in season one and then season two was terrible and we stopped, whoa, shit. And we stopped watching it after season, uh, after season, like a couple episodes into season two. I watched a little bit of um, Attack on Titan. Um, I haven't seen Death Note, no. You changed your hard drive on your PS? Oh shit, you're shitting me. Whoa. Why? I mean, I know because you wanted more memory, but I mean, you just, you have so many games you didn't want to delete stuff. I haven't seen Army of Darkness. No, I haven't seen any of those movies. Hey, what did the, what, the guy, I forget who it was, who said Victor was playing this on his stream. What did Victor think of it? Did he like it? I can't look at the chat right now. I'm sure you understand why. Fuck it, I'm going to try. Uh, uh. I can't. I just can't. Worst game, Death Crimson or Bubsy? I don't know what Death Crimson is. And Bubsy has a number of games. Do you mean Bubsy 3D? Or do you mean Bubsy? Like the very first Bubsy. Okay, he liked the game. Okay. That, that was totally... Bubsy 1 was okay. I mean, it was terrible, but it wasn't like... I mean, look, Bubsy 3D... Look, you gotta give Bubsy 3D a little bit of fucking credit. Um, It's terrible. But it came out before Mario. I mean, Mario 64 came and really solved a lot of problems. No one had any idea. I've never seen Killer Clowns. Um, no one had any idea how to do controls and camera and, you know, locking content behind physical spaces really until Mario 64 came along. So the fact that Bubsy took the first bite of the apple, I mean, I'd like to think I could have done better, but there were a lot of things, there were a lot of rules that hadn't been written and a lot of problems that hadn't even been close to being solved yet. I'm not saying it wasn't good. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was bad. I think the game, 
I think it slows you down on the second one. Like it figures it's too hard for you. I think it's, I don't think I'm going as fast this time as I would, was before. No, I haven't seen those movies. Yeah, the game's real scary, Peapot. I will say I'm starting to get, I, I really like this game, but I'm starting to get to a point where I want to see more visual level variety. Like, it's really cool, but we've been in this for like an hour and a half and we've only been in the mines. Or the uh, kind of the, the, I don't know what this is, like the wooded area, which is great, but it's like, I want to go into a fucking haunted castle and shit. All right, what is this? It's you. Okay, let's, oh yeah, let's buy some shit. All right, somebody wanted the samurai, right? Here we go. What you buying? I have not seen the autopsy of Jane Doe. I hear it's fantastic though. Uh, how do I change outfits? Uh. Nah, dog, are you still watching? Do you know how to change outfits? Can you only do that? I love Denny's, yeah. My kids, I love taking my kids to Denny's. Maybe you can only change outfits at the beginning of the game? Main menu, okay, so I have to quit. Okay, I'm not gonna quit, I'll do it next time. Um, I have watched Blade Runner, yes. I appreciate it, I don't like it, it's boring, it's too slow. Blade Runner 2048, I think that's what it is. Um, I actually did like 2048, but it was too slow, so I walked out of the theater, and I keep meaning to go back and see it again, but it was really fucking slow for me. Honestly, at Denny's, I like to get, <coughs> I like to get the, the moons, I like to get what's called the, uh, the, 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 basically the egg and cheese uh, without the ham and french fries. But, you know, Denny's is, Denny's is comfort food. Everything at Denny's is good. Have I played Ghoul School? No, I have no idea what that is. I've never seen Robocop with Peter Seller. I've seen it with Peter Weller. Peter Seller's a very different guy. Yeah, I loved it. All right, Nodog, good to see you, man. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Are you gonna finish this? Do you think, you said you're halfway through. Did you stop because you just got busy? Or did you get bored? F yeah, okay, you are gonna finish it. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're playing a bunch of horror games right now, gotcha. Um, Edge, of Tomor Edge of Tomorrow is great. Okay, yeah, Ro Robocop with Peter Sellers sounds amazing, yeah. And then didn't they change the title from Edge of Tomorrow to like, um, 
die and die again or some such stupid shit. It's like just... It's like, how hard is it to name a fucking movie? Both those titles. Edge of Tomorrow doesn't work really well, but it's better than Die and Die Again. Live, die, repeat. Yeah, right, Zach Scott. That's what it was. Peapod, no. Is that a scene in Robocop they cut where they got their dick shot off? But isn't Edge of Tomorrow Live, Die, Repeat? Isn't that the same movie? They just different title. Like it came out and they called it Edge of Tomorrow, then they changed the title to Live Die Repeat, I think. Yeah, okay. But yeah, it's a great movie. They're making a new RoboCop. I never watched the remake with, I think it was Colin Farrell. And uh, what's her name? Kate Beckinsale, who I like. Uh, I heard it wasn't good. Maybe I did watch the remake. No, I don't think I did. I watched a remake of something. Maybe I did see the RoboCop remake. No, I saw the Total Recall remake is what I saw. I did not see the, that was Kate Beckinsale. I did not see the remake of RoboCop. Right. You know what movie holds up that's still really good? That when I saw it in the theater, I liked it but didn't love it? Is uh, Minority Report with Tom Cruise from Spielberg. It's a really good fucking movie. When I first saw it, I was like, yeah, it's kind of good, whatever. But it, it, it sustains, man. had 80s Batman as the bad guy? Gattaca was great. What do you mean they had 80s Batman as the bad guy? You mean Michael Keaton was the bad guy? I've not seen Born Identity since it came out. You should watch the anime Samurai Champloo Kronos. What is it? Dark City I've heard of, Heath Nation. I've never seen it, but I've heard of it. Oh, wait, Michael. Okay, so Michael Keaton is the bad guy in the new RoboCop. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Did not know that. So was the new RoboCop, RoboCop worth watching? Or I heard it was bad. No, I know it's an anime, Kronos, but what's the gist of it? What's it about? The original Judge Dredd, um, I've never finished the original and I've never finished the remake, but I kind of liked them both, just never got around to finishing them. So what is Shampoo about? What is it? Shit, it was close. Oh! It could have been good, but they toned it down for a PG. Always do. Well, the movies ain't cheap, I guess. I don't tend to watch Bacon Magma. A lot of media from other countries, no. Sometimes I'll watch foreign movies, but not not often. Oh shit. The la I, I've been wa I watched some horror recently for oh shit. From Spain, I think, which was really good. Uh hello, you're back, uh Zayed. Good to see you, man. 
Okay, so Champ Lou is about a girl and two samurai in the Edo period. It's hip-hop and some of the best swordplay. Oh, cool. All right. Never watched Invader Jim. Uh, Fred, this game is very good. Where can you see that anime? Can you? Is it like on Crunchyroll or is it on Netflix or what? There's a there's a, a American and there's the the guys who made Castlevania are coming out tomorrow or later next week with a Greek mythology kind of animated thing. What? Funimation, okay. Oh, it's on Hulu. Okay, great. Your fiance is under the weather. I'm off to buy bacon and surprise her. Nice. Good on you, Trey. If we don't see you again tonight, we'll see you later, man. Thank you so much for everything. See you soon. I, you know what I have? Ah, you know what I haven't seen is Attack the Block yet. I was going to watch it, then I can't find it anymore. I think it's on Netflix again or something. I don't know. But I hear that's phenomenal. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Oh. My fault. My fault. John, buddy, thank you so much for that super chat. Let's see what Johnny has to say. But before I even read it, sir, it's very kind. It's very generous, man. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. He says, what was it like seeing military computing in Utah? Where do you think it's at now? Gabe's been talking brain computer interfacing. Gabe Newell's talking game computer or, or, or brain computer interfacing um, via stuff he's seen in the military or you just mean in general? But no, I mean, at the time... Okay, Jaffa, you're a moron. At the time, um, I, did, I did play Inside. I loved it. Limbo, it was okay. I didn't love it. Um, at the time, I had never really seen much 3D, if any. And it was amazing. I got to go out there and I got to sit in professional flight sims and fly them. I got to go into uh, the guys at Evans and Sutherland who were the work for the military making 3D stuff, who eventually went on to work and make single track uh, and then in COG. Um, those guys made like Dungeons and Dragons database and shit where you could kind of go in into like a dungeon and in, in, in VR and everything. I mean, it was it was well before its fucking time. It was amazing. The one I remember the most was they made a, 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 a hang glider VR thing where you wear these goggles, Jaffe, and um, they have you hang gliding over a future city. It was extremely cool. Yeah, I love that. It was a great experience, man, especially if, if you're, you know, I had come from PlayStation or from not even PlayStation, from Sony ImageSoft where all we had was, you know, 2D, Sega, Genesis, and all that shit, which was great, but there was no sense of, of 3D graphics. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And so when you experience that for the first time, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty mind-blowing. I have not tried Genshin Impact yet, no. Okay, wait, I saw somebody tweet about that. Upvote says, did anyone see GameStop's website last night? It was a bug and everything was free and people were getting Nintendo Switches for five bucks. I heard about that, but I don't imagine they honored that, did they? Or were they like, yeah, no, those got shipped out? Because, yeah, I absolutely heard about it, but... Okay, that's where the bombs got to go. Okay. I'm super confused. Let's see. We didn't get censored by the Mormons. Oh, you mean, well, we did on Calling All Cars. That's true. 
Did God of War 2018 sell more than the previous ones? I think so. I think it sold much better. Um, Nate, yeah, I, I, I thought Inside was the better game as well. Loved it. A lot of people posted their shipping confirmation. So they may have actually gotten away with getting $5 fucking uh, switches. That's kind of incroyable. Uh, uh. This, this could go all kinds of bad, fellas. Come on, come on. Loki says they have to honor it. They must honor all displayed prices. Really? I don't. I'm not entirely okay. If that's true, that's awesome fucking news. I love hearing that. If I can make a game, Delroy, based on any license, I, you know, it would probably be... I mean, I think the better game, we were talking about this earlier, I think the better game would be James Bond. But I love Indiana Jones more than James Bond. But I think, I think a, like I've talked earlier, an open world spy game would just be, with James Bond as a license, would just be amazing. That's what I would do. Jaffe, you can also skip the cutscenes day, in Days Gone. Nice. I mean, do you recommend doing that? Or you're just telling me that I can? Or are you saying, like, dude, skip them, they're shit? For big games, I try not to skip them, but for games like this, I'm like, this is such a gamey game, I don't give a fuck. So let me just fucking fight. Do I really need to know the motivation behind Pumpkin Jack? I'm about to die though, kids. Come on now. I don't know why they stopped making 007 games. Probably the... I don't know if EA lost the license. I have no idea. I did not play Stubbs the Zombie, no. Maybe I did. Maybe just at first. Just the, like the initial... Like the first level or something I think I played. No, I've not played Friday the 13th yet. But we might do that or Dead by Daylight on a future stream, though. Seems like something we should play. God damn, this is hard. What are you, what are you not doing, Jeff? You think? I'm gonna die. I'm just trying to think if I can. Can I destroy that thing? I think I did. So that thing is destructible. Okay. Loki, you can roll, but it does no good. I've never played Zenith. That's right. That's right. All right. Good to see you, Zach. We'll see you next time, man. Thanks for joining up our little uh, merry band, buddy. We'll see you soon. Have a good weekend, sir. Would a modern day Colosseum work? You mean like a Roman gladiator thing? I mean, are you shitting me? Of course it would work. Absolutely.
people would go ape shit for it. It'd be terrible, but it would work. I don't know if I would want to see that. No, I would not. I would not go see it. I just, it, it feels too cruel. Jesus Christ, if I die now. Zenith is Bard's Tale, it's satire. Oh, okay, gotcha. Are you deciding not to answer my question? I, I'm not seeing it. What's your question? Uh, what did you say? I, uh, Heath Nation? Uh, I don't know what your question is, man. Ask it again. AOC wanted the sequel to be called Drawn to Death. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever AOC wants, I'll give her. <laughs> I like her. She's cool. She's very cool. Thoughts on people deserving life sentences for giving people intentional STDs? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my thoughts... Um, okay, so you're basically giving... Okay, well... No, okay, so I would say... Um... If it's an incurable STD, then I would say, yeah, you should give someone a life sentence. If it's like crabs and you do it on purpose, no, I think you should have some kind of legal penalty for it. I don't think you should go to jail for life, though. Not because I want to, you know, promote that behavior. That just seems pretty extreme for that. I love peanut butter upvote. And I was very broken hearted to learn that some people find peanut butter disgusting. Like I find tuna fish disgusting. Like whenever, or, or like when my ex comes over sometimes she'll bring sardines cause she eats super fucking healthy. And she'll eat, she'll just like pull out sardines like and, 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 and like bite their fucking heads off and shit. And I'm just like, are you shitting me? Um, I can't, I can't stand the smell of tuna fish, but no, peanut butter I fucking adore, man. I like how it's a horror version of this song. This game's finished, Eric. Um, peanut butter was gonna be called nut mud? God, that sounds horrible. What the fudge? What is this?
oh, you thought this was Fortnite DLC? Kind of has that tone, but no, no, no. I like this better than Fortnite. Yeah, the soundtrack's great, and they actually sell the soundtrack over on Steam, like six bucks, I think. Sorry, chat. I can't look at the chat. I apologize. There we go. Peanut butter was invented during the Lincoln presidency? Really? I played Medieval yesterday, Trees Go to War, but I didn't like it. A commendable display, that body of yours is proving its worth. Toppling brutes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. God, shut up. Jesus, let me just fucking play the game. The Great Jack, Mass... Never seen anybody read the chats as much as I do? I 
<laughs> I don't read the chats. Um, I don't know, Ant, if this is on PS4. We were talking about that earlier. Um, I, I thought it was, but then some people were saying it's not. Um, it, 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 it will come there, I think, as I saw in Metacritic, there were supposed to be some reviews. Oh, read the chats. I thought you meant read the, uh, the in-game stuff. Oh, okay. Like the chat between characters. I see, I see. Um, it is on PS4, says Magic. Um, well, it, really? The Illuminati, oh, the Illuminati, fuck you up, vote, you fuckhead. Um, listen to me. If you watch people's streams and they don't read the chats, and I don't really know why they're streaming, why they just make a video. The ones I hate are the ones that actually charge you money to read the fucking chat. They will literally ignore the entire chat, and you know they see the shit, and they only respond to the fucking um, super chats. And I'm just like, really? Don't be a dick. Don't be a fu I mean, I mean, you know, I don't know. This is lame. Do I think PS5's SSD has an advantage over Xbox's SSD? I have no idea, Kenny. I'm not a tech guy. I mean, the only thing I'm sort of certain of is I like the hard drive space on the uh, on the uh, Xbox X more than the hard drive space on the Xbox S or the PS5. But other than that, I'm not really all that in tune with all that stuff, so I don't know. Okay, so Loki says it's not. Okay. I'm done reading your shit of a bandit. I'm just done. <laughs> Oh, I can equip it here. Oh, okay. Nah, I don't want this one. I want the lumberjack. Oh, all the names from Xbox are stupid. I don't fucking understand them. I mean, I'm sure there was logic behind their decision. It's not like they don't have a marketing and sales group, but I'm just kind of going, what? I'm, it's still, I mean, parents this Christmas, let's just say they're going to be a little confused. Hey. Yeah, Wii U was the same fucking problem. It's like, what are you doing, you guys? Kind of hard to know where I've already been, but I think, okay, I've already been here. Which God of War has the best boss battles? Dude, I have no idea. I have no idea. I just... I mean, I haven't even played them all. I haven't played Ascension. I finished one, because I designed and directed one. And I finished... Oh, I hope I'm not going the wrong direction. And I finished three. And I finished two. 
but I didn't play Ascension and I haven't played the new one and frankly I don't remember the bosses. My guess would probably probably be three just because they were so goddamn big and cool but I don't really remember truth be told. I visited Corey and those guys in Santa Monica. It's been over a couple years now. I had lunch with Shannon uh, about six months ago, but that's the last, you know. Silent or voice protagonist? It depends. Oh, shit. I went back to where I started, didn't I? That's the one flaw so far that I've consistently had in this game. Is it's v the, There's not enough visual cueing to keep you going in the right direction. It's not that easy to get turned around. But it's happened about three or four times. Like, just there, I'm just like, really? It's not a big deal, but it's kind of annoying. Have I ever been yelled at by a higher up? No. Probably because I probably wouldn't work with people that are like that, but no, I have not. Did you try and convince Shannon to leave Stadia? No, I mean, when she told me she was going to Stadia, I said what I say now, which is, dude, I think, I think the tech is really cool. I think what they're trying to do is really cool. My experience with it has been great at a, at a tech level, but I think their business model is really dumb. Um, and I said, maybe you can kind of, you know, work on that. Cause she, you know, one of the problems with the business model is they don't have a lot of original stuff. And she's obviously going there last I heard to actually build some of these studios. So like internal studios. So hopefully that'll, uh, that'll give them what they need. No, nobody yelled with Drawn to Death. I remember going into Scott Rohde and apologizing. I mean, he said, dude, it's not, it's a good game. I said, I think it's a good game. He says, no, we all think it's a good game. It's not your fault. The focus groups told us that it was going to sell. We don't know what the fuck happened. So, I mean, I, I felt terrible about that game not selling, but no, they weren't, you know, um, they weren't mad. Except, you know, they, you know, it's not like they're still doing business with us. So, in that way, they clearly weren't so pleased that they were willing to continue to roll the dice all, forever. But no, I, I, they weren't upset. It was just more like, yeah, sometimes that's the cookie crumbles. Um, no, I do not think they'll release it on PC. There's, there's, there's no incentive. There's a lot of work that would have to be done. It did so poorly on PS4 that I don't think anyone is at Sony going, man, this could be massive if we put it on PS on, on, on Steam or something. They're really generous in this game with checkpoints too, which is really good. Which is probably one of the reasons I'm still playing.
Starlot is uh, Destruction All Stars, Sony's new twisted game. I don't know what that means. I mean, I mean, it's their new game that seems to be very focused on vehicles and the characters who drive them, and they have battle. But I don't know if. And that game came out of England. England has never really been a big fan of Twisted Metal. It's never sold over there. I don't think they really care for it. Um, Zed, if Microsoft called up and said, Jaffe, work with us on an IP, would you? Um, I'd need to get some details, but I really like what they're doing with Game Pass, so I absolutely would, um, I I'd sit up really quick and go, wait, tell me what this is about. I'd be interested, sure. I mean, I'd have to hear, you know, some specifics, but... If Stadia called, I mean, yeah, look, if I had faith that Stadia would be in business for a while, look, if Stadia called and said, let's do something, um, again, you guys know, I like Stadia. I played Stadia till two in the morning last night with Strange Brigade. I just don't like their business model. Um, so, but yeah, if they wanted to help me make a game though, fuck yeah, I'd do it. And you think uh, Twisted Metal uh, was too too American for English people? Yeah, I mean that was always <coughs> that was always the assumption. I'm not even paying attention. Does Stadia include a packing game? Um, Delroy, yeah, Delroy, do you have a PC? That's my first question for you. I know you can also do it on a phone, but you know, I, I don't know if I don't like playing on phones, but whatever. Do you have a PC, Delroy? I haven't played the new God of War, so I can't speak to it, Zayed. Zayed. Have I ever pitched a game to a publisher single-handedly? I don't know what that means. It annoys me when games save certain progress after you die. What? Do you download Stadia games or stream? You stream them. Oh, no PC. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, then if you get the Chromecast thing, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, so what was your question then? Um, a pack-in game. <coughs> so, Stadia... So, the answer is no, I don't think. They have they have demos. Like, right now, um, the Pac-Man demo is free and the Phoenix Immortals is free. Um, but... They don't have, like, I don't believe, I could be wrong, but I don't believe they just have straight up free games unless you pay for Stadia Pro. And if you pay for Stadia Pro, which is nine bucks a month, at the moment, I want to say they have, like, um, they, I'm not sure how many, but they have, like, maybe 30 games, kind of like Game Pass, but it's not as original as Game Pass. Um, and they're all games that are kind of old, but it's still pretty good. And then you can buy brand new games with terrible prices. Like, they're selling over there, they're selling Assassin's Creed Odyssey for 60 bucks. Um, but I can go to Amazon and buy it for 23 They're selling Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider for, um, 60 bucks, And I can buy Shadow of the Tomb Raider for, um... 19 bucks on Steam. It's not viable for Steam to have a free sub. A free sub? But they lace the games with ads? Are you asking me? Or you're telling me. Um, Travis Scott is a record producer and a rapper and a singer. I 
I've had lunch with Mark Cerny. I don't know him that well. Delroy, yeah, it's called Strange Brigade. It's great. It's really fun. I mean, it's, you know, it's not like it's not like a game of the year candidate or anything, but it's it's good. Michael Myers, how do I light my steak? I have to be drunk to eat steak because it's meat and meat grosses me out. But I do I do like steak. I like it um, well done and I like it with the bones out because if I see any bones, it makes me sick because it reminds me I'm eating an animal that was alive a few days ago that they slaughtered to put on my table. Um, but all that said, if I drink enough alcohol, um, I, I can I can eat steak and enjoy it. It tastes fantastic, but conceptually it just makes me turns my stomach a little bit. Kenny, you are very welcome on behalf of all of us who made a man. Yeah, Otter, I've always been that way. Whenever I can actually recognize it as as an animal thing, it makes me it turns my stomach. Even then, Ant though, even with better graphics, Twisted never did that well. But it, we always compared Twisted Metal uh, to Wipeout, right? Like Wipeout was the American Twisted Metal, and that it has its fans. But it's so Euro that it just didn't resonate thematically with a lot of American audiences. But it's, mu it's much beloved in, in a number of European territories. No, Classic Krusty. I hated the racing. And Scott Campbell wasn't a fan of it either, but it was a political thing with a, a really amazing programmer in the studio that did it. And it was like, it, it, it was a really, we were really worried if we told him he had to take it out, it was going to demotivate him. I mean, he's a pro. He wouldn't have, like, left or anything. But we were worried about what it would do to morale because he was pretty convinced they worked. And it was like, oh, fuck it. The online's what matters. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was, I thought they were not good.
Oh, what are me and the kids having? I think Cal ate with his mom, and I think Sarah, I don't know what Sarah's having. We do, we usually do family dinners on the weekend, on the week where, you know, I just make sure there's food in the house and they fend for themselves. I mean, it's not like I don't see them, but. Oh, I'm glad you liked them. I mean, yeah, I think variety was always a problem with Twisted Metal single player, so. Wipeout did well in the US, but it didn't do, it didn't do, I mean, it, I, let's say this, I don't think Wipeout in the US, in the US were, was as big of a flop as Twisted was in Europe. But I absolutely know that they did not, it didn't do anywhere near as well uh, as it did over there. I agree, Robert. I agree. Oh, I see. Okay. I really don't care, Bacon. Bacon says, don't take this the wrong way, but I don't trust anyone who doesn't eat meat. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, Bacon. I don't give a fuck if you trust me or not. Marketing put good marketing behind Twisted. Um, I mean, you know, they they did uh, a lot. Of, they did a demo and they did um, the shoot my truck. Uh, I mean, they did a number of things. They did a number of things to support it. But I mean, they didn't blow it out like you know Death Stranding or something. Oh shit, Jaffe, you moron. Oh, upvote! You were playing Twisted all day today. I need to go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play Twisted at least the single player on a stream because I don't have a. I don't have a PS3. But I, oh shit! But I have PS now, um, so I can stream the single player. Okay, so I can double jump, but not on the first. I think. Oh shit! No, no, no. I don't have a twist metal tattoo now. It is on PS now, yes. Ewok Forest.
I agree, Bukaki. This is, should have been medieval. Oh, wait. Hang on. That's my kid. I'll be right back. No idea what I'm doing. Oh. Yeah. But wash your hands after, okay? Tr Amar will Trump accept the loss if he loses? It's it's he's so unpredictable. I I couldn't tell you, man. I don't know. Classic crusty. I agree. It's very polished. Oh, it's Nobu. Bacon Magma, no, I cannot stand Donald Trump. I think he's awful. I think he's terrible for the country. Uh, Jeesh, I'm playing this on um, Steam. Uh, I guess it's not on PS4. We thought it was. Somebody said it might be on Xbox and Switch, but I know it's on Steam. I think it's on. I think it might be on Xbox too, but I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, can this thing fly? Look at this, he flies. Oh, this is the best thing ever. Oh, I've given up on college football. All I really like is Auburn, and they're just screwing the pooch. They're terrible. I wasn't paying attention. Come on now, focus, Jeff. You think this should be a Game Pass game? Works for me. 
This is Indy, Sir Dragon. It's made by one guy. I have not seen the new Borat movie. I'm going to watch it this weekend. But I like that character. I like Sasha Baron Cohen, too. So hopefully it'll be good. This is a play every Halloween game, I think. It's very Halloween-y. Yeah, sorry, Chad, I can't look right now. I apologize. There's no way this was made by one guy. That's what I say, but they say it is. Oh, this kicks the shit out of medieval. A thousand uh, in, in, in every way. I mean, t t you know, to be fair to medieval, that was a game made a long time ago. And the remaster of medieval really is not, they don't do anything to it. It's just kind of a, a reskin. I, I didn't notice any difference. Um, but no, if you're just if you're just saying, hey, should I play this or medieval? No, you fucking play this. This is a genuinely good platformer. It's fun. I think if you don't have nostalgia for medieval, I could be wrong. I'd be surprised if somebody played medieval who had never played it before like me and was like, no, dude, I really like this game. I, I could be wrong on that, but. gotten that yet? Why can't I get that? That's weird. Oh, Amar, will I be doing an election day stream? Hmm, interesting. On and off, a lot of it depends on how engaged my kids are. If, if the family wants to sit around and watch the election together, like all day, I will, but they probably don't. So I'll probably be doing a stream that day and we'll be keeping an eye on the polls and stuff or on the exit polls. I'm sure I'll be I'll be around. Let's put it that way. It's going to be on my mind. I, I, I love election day. And obviously this year is crazy. You know, if you're if, if you're a, a Trump dis despiser like I am, it's a pretty important election. Let me rephrase that. If you love America like I do. It's a pretty important election, but I know some people love America and they think Trump is good for America, and that's fine. It's just not me. I have seen Mad Max Fury Road, and I loved it. It's phenomenal. This is better than Maximo Army of Zen. Maximo Army of Zen had a great look to it, but I thought it was a little too hard and a little too repetitive. I mean, I never finished it, so maybe it changed. It's a good game, though. But no, I, I think this, this trumps that. Yeah, your average psych, let me be clear. I'm not saying this is the world's greatest game. I think it's really good. Like, it's a really good version of this kind of game. So what you see is what you get. I'm not like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. But it is very, again, to continually bang that drum. It is a comfort food game. It's satisfying. It's really fairly tuned. It clearly wants you to finish it. It doesn't spike difficulty that much. They're really generous with checkpoints. There's a lot of variety so far, so you're doing a lot of different stuff. Um, kind of confused. Did I already come that way? Do I have to ride the horse again? Oh, I did not like Hat in Time. I thought the camera in Hat in Time was terrible.
Right, rainy day game, that's right. I can't make it there. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ride the ride the ride the horse. Oh, okay, no, I can't ride the horse. Okay, that's where he came from. Living, oh yeah, this is clearly the guy, The in fact, yeah, so Alexis says the game has the heart of a double-A PS2 game. Solid gameplay, great personality, 100%. Um, the guy who made this said he was very inspired by Jack and Daxter, and he was very, oh, I see what I'm doing. And he was very inspired by um, Medieval. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think it wears its inspiration on its sleeve uh, quite, quite proudly. Wait, what? Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. That's a pretty good puzzle. Not puzzle, but you know. Good night, Zayed. Good to see you, man. Is it Zayed or Zayed or Zayed? I don't know. But either way, good night, sir. Thanks for hanging out with us. Will not end well for me. Ah, shit! I knew it. All right, Zayd. Good to see you, man. Uh, that's just what he said, Delroy. I I don't fucking know. I mean, I I definitely think it has that era of gaming. But sure, it, it plays it plays more like medieval, or someone said Sly Cooper, like the first Sly Cooper, than it does um, Jack. But I don't know. You know, Serum's inspiration is, uh, you don't necessarily see exactly what it is that people are responding to, but whatever inspired them, I'm glad it did, because I'm digging this game a lot. It's really good. They do a really good job of keeping you interested without a lot of mechanics. Like, they're, they're doing a lot of reuse here, but I don't feel like I'm like, oh my god, dude, fucking come on. Like, it's it's pretty... Uh, oh, thank you, John. I appreciate that, man. It, oh, Mupo, the banana. Thank you, sir. You know I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the banana tonight, Mupo. Uh, Jaffe, there's a pretty sweet Sly Cooper Easter egg in Ghost Yoshima. Really? What is it? Oh, I think I just fucking bugged this fucking thing. That wasn't intentional. It, um, thank you, Mupo. I appreciate it. It's unfortunate Crash didn't sell all that well. I mean, it's not over yet, but I mean, Crash 4 is one of my favorite games of the year. It's fantastic. Pale Gunner, thank you for subbing over on the YouTube. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much. And Mupo, seriously, thanks, man. Mupo's always hitting us up with the bananas. He knows we appreciate it. 
crashes your game of the year. I, I don't think it's my game of the year, but it's in the top three or top four. It's fucking great. And I finally fucking finished that goddamn thing. You think you think it'll sell over time? That'd be great. Oh shit. Oh come on. Come on. Oh, we we ate the banana and now Mupo Mupo destroyed the banana. Thank you, sir. You have to dye your armor set and get a sword kit with the raccoon tail. Oh, that's awesome. How do you... Okay, cool. All right, I'll try that. You need to try Crash 4. Crash 4, John, is great. Just great. Okay, hang on. One more time. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not paying any attention. Focus, Jaffe. Dun, 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 dun. Blue, purple, purple, yellow. As soon as Crash goes on sale, you're gonna get it? Yeah, it's great, man. It's great. I've never played Raise the Dead, no. I, I need to play Doom Eternal. I hear it's fucking awesome. And I need to play Final Fantasy VII. I don't really want to play RE3. I'll play RE3 when it drops in price. But everyone's... I mean, I loved Resident Evil 2. Um, and everybody said 2 was, was way better than 3. God damn it. Sorry, fellas. Uh, come here, come here, come here. Why is that? Why is that moving again? Oh, I see. They want... You want me to update my... How do I do that? How do I get that off the screen? There we go. Uh, Doom... Uh, RE3 is too short. They got uh, content. Gotcha. Okay. Am I back here? Why am I back here? Yeah, I've seen people... <laughs> I'm an idiot. I've seen people say that they're expecting a price drop on Crash for the holidays, which would be great. Because it's, it's, it's just fantastic, man. It's a great game. It's hard. I would say it's almost impossible if you want 100% it, but um, it's, it's, it's very challenging but fair if you just want to finish it. But it's really, it's fair. And they're really good with checkpoints and making it not too frustrating. Uh, I am excited to read the reviews for Cyberpunk. If, if, if it sounds like my kind of game, I'm excited for it. Everything I've seen looks good. I'm not necessarily into big RPGs. Like, I didn't like The Witcher 3 that much. I thought it was cool, but it wasn't for me. So if it's basically just a reskin Witcher, I'm not that excited. But we'll see what it is. I love the trailer they put out recently with the uh, with the vehicles. Looked awesome, though. I was reading the chat. Do not game and read the chat at the same time. Apologize, chat. I'm not going to look at the chat at all.
music's pretty fucking good. I heard Best Buy's having their final wave of PS5 orders. That's awesome. I'm still gonna wait. I'm not... I'm excited to get one eventually, but I'm not like, oh my god, I have to have a PS5. You're listening in the car, Potato. Well, drive safe, sir. I, I love your listening while you're driving, man. That's awesome. <laughs> If Biden wins, will I stream The Last of Us? Probably not. You're pulling the trigger on a PS5 when God of War launches. Okay. That's pretty good, Starlog. You're going to follow Amazon trucks around and just get free ones? Horrible. Horrible. You're going to go to hell, sir. Just so you know. <laughs> That's wonderful, Bukaki. Why don't you join the modern world and get a bidet like every fucking civilized person? Wiping your butt. Come on now. Come on now. You'll be in hell, but you'll be playing your free PS5. Yeah, I guess that's true. Lupo says the stream's the second best part of my day. Uh, what? Well, A, he says, thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. And thanks for the bananas and shit. Um, and your uh, membership and you just being being part of the community. But I have to ask, of course, what's the best, what's the first best part of your day? Being with my girlfriend and her two little daughters. All right, I guess that's acceptable. Grumble, grumble, grumble. About to get laid off and Jaffe expects me to live in luxury. <laughs> hey, you're getting a free fucking game tomorrow, you, you nerd. Proto V, I really do like this game. I mean, like I said to someone earlier, I don't like it like, oh my God, game of the year. 
but it's very fun. It's very fair. Um, it's it, there's a lot of variety to it, so it keeps you going. Um, Oh, she's going to watch some Phasmophobia. Cool. Excellent. <laughs> I'd say the worst part about this game is the combat. Um, I don't need deep combat, but it it doesn't it doesn't feel super satisfying. It doesn't feel bad. It just feels it feels real sloppy. Um, oh, you fucker! Oh, upvote. Hopefully, you will, man. That'd be great. Remember, we're gonna play Among Us first, then we're gonna play fan, uh, Phasmophobia. Glad to hear it. Not everything needs to be game of the year. Absolutely, man. A hundred percent. This is just very well done comfort food. Or as Rob says, like a rainy day game. It's, it's really good. And it's not that long. I don't know if I'll finish it tonight, but it's not a terribly long game, which makes me happy too. I don't like really long games. But like, I mean, like this thing right here, you know, clearly something, you know, you know, it's different. I haven't had that experience yet. Um, I'm kind of with you, Mag uh, Magic. Game of the Year is bullshit. It's all subjective. I'll, I have my personal Game of the Year thing I've enjoyed the most, but it's not... It doesn't mean anything. I've said many times that Game of the Year needs to be... I'm an idiot. Game of the year needs to be like five years, games that were like five years ago. Because only through the lens of history can you really judge that shit. There's so many politics and business and shit that gets in the way of actually coming up with a real answer. Uh, it's better, I agree Metallic, it's great. It, it is a better, I think it's better than Medieval. But yeah, it's great. No, 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 no. Stop doing that move, Jeffy. I remember Twisted Metal was their game of the year. I was stunned when they said that. I almost didn't believe it. I'm like, you're shitting me, really? And they're like, I went, I went to the grocery store and I got the issue. I was like, fuck. They weren't kidding. Hey, it's the TARDIS. not respawn me at the beginning. I'll be so annoyed. You guys have been doing so good with your checkpoints. Don't fucking send me back to the beginning of this boat ride. Good. Good. Oh, hey, I agree, Delroy. I, I, I don't think our game was game of the year. Uh, and you're and, and not just Chrono Trigger, but fucking um, Yoshi's Island came out that year. And I'm like, you're shitting me. We're not better than Yoshi's fucking Island. Are you out of your mind? Thank <laughs> you. 
What does it take to have a healthy relationship? I mean, you know, you have to really like and respect the other person. Um, you have to want to really be committed to that person, unless you're in an open relationship. And a big part of it is I think you have to have the same interests. And if you don't, over time people change and you need to work to grow together if you care about the relationship. And that doesn't always happen. It's not always possible to grow together. But you have to try. Starting next month all the way through January, I'll go in retro. Your Raspberry Pi is ready for classics from Genesis, SNES, DOS, all the way to PS1. Nice. You'll do that for two months? Excellent. Oh shit. You're very welcome, Mupo. Anytime, man. Why would that? Why? I don't understand. It's just instant death? No. How would I know that? Okay, do you follow the crows, maybe? Nope. Okay, don't follow the crows. Friday's going good, Potato. Thank you. How about you, man? Upvote, why do you need to message me with codes? I don't understand. The codes are things that I have on the stream. You don't you don't need to do anything.
Oh, I see you're gonna. Oh, cool, man. Thanks, man. I'll take your codes. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you, sir. Thanks, man. Are the Jaffe face mugs not for sale? What do you mean? What, what are you talking about, Pervy? That's the headless horseman. That's the shit. That's the shit. Oh, you don't see them in the Teespring ad. You don't see any of them. I got to check into that. I want. There, there's a great Gabin and Games mug up there that is on Teespring, but it's not on um, YouTube for some reason. I'll, I'll, I'll look into that this weekend. Thank you for letting me know, uh, Proto. That's interesting. Um. Michael says, good to see you. I'm not the only one that skips the dialogue scenes. It's just the Sweet Tooth and the Kratos. Okay, let me let me fix that. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, Michael, I don't skip in all games, but a game like this, I'm like, really? Sorry, chat, if I don't look at the chat for a second. Hang on. That's that's why I can't look at the chat. Hang on. Yeah, 12 pack was based on the Headless Horseman, yes. 
What do I think about people who identify as another race? I don't understand your question. Who identify as another race or who are another race? I don't know what you mean. Bacon, my answer is vagina. Fred, yeah, they use they use a lot of, not a lot, but there's about four songs so far that are uh, sort of classic public domain. But then as you can tell, they kind of Halloween them up. So it's kind of cool to hear some of these classic songs, but with the kind of spooky, spooky arrangement. I don't necessarily understand why I'm taking damage. I mean, I know it's that thing, but I don't see the, the collisions not entirely clear. I did play the Destroy All Humans remake. I love it. I haven't finished it, but I fucking love it. It's great. I heard the new SpongeBob wasn't very good. Is it good? Okay, that's good to know. That's really cool. Good night, Delroy. We'll see you soon, man. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Question: The odds of getting a new uh, a new Spyro game after Crash Four? Ah, it's a great question. But again, like people in the chat were saying, Crash Four might end up doing pretty well over the holidays. So. Okay, I guess I can't jump on the eyes. Is Crash coming to the, uh, is Crash coming to the Switch? I'm gonna 
doing wrong? I can destroy all this stuff, so clearly I don't need to jump. Anyone got any ideas? Oh, hit the blue thing? Oh, yeah, clever. Thank you. You're smart. I'm dumb. Thank you, Fred. Good thinking, pal. Oh, I bet the tree drops when I hit this one. is the Annapurna one, right? I need to play that one. Outer Wilds I liked, but... Shit. I thought Outer Wilds was really good, or Outer Worlds. But I, 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 I didn't stay with it for that long. It was cool though. Yeah, Outer Worlds was Obsidian. Yeah. Grumble, grumble, grumble. No worries. Fred told us the way. Easy peasy. Never been system myopic, gotta have them all. What? I don't understand. Oh, thank you, I'll vote. Thanks for the Diet Coke, man. I appreciate it, pal.
Oh, sorry, chat. I can't. I I'm, I can't read it. I'm sorry. This might be the last boss, though. I don't really have a favorite game. I have lots of games I love, but... A favorite? I don't know. depends on what I'm in the mood for. Is this emoji Dorothy from Golden Girls? No, it's just some hot, sexy cartoon babe. 
What a misstep. In their hubris, Tarn. Fuck. We got ourselves a gun. The new little nightmares looks fantastic. I want to shoot somebody with my gun. I'm American. Yeah, I'm with you, Living. I don't know how one guy made this fucking game. I, I just, that's staggering. If it's true. That's it. That's it. Oh my god, I'm tired. Um, Jaffe, those types of indies feel more next gen than next big gen. You know, sometimes, Fred, you're right. I mean, I certainly liked it a lot, man. Um, okay, I'm fried. I'm done. Um, let me let me give you some uh, updates. So uh, again, by the way, I will be sending this out to Trey uh, probably Tuesday of next week. So congratulations for winning this, Trey. We have um, Seb Sab, Heath Nation, and Bukaki getting the free copies of Phasmophobia. Tomorrow at 6 o'clock California time, we will be playing uh, Gabin and Games' first game night. We will be playing um, Among Us for about an hour. Then we're going to go to Phasmophobia. Um, members have priority seating, but obviously if you're not a member, you can still play. But we're going to get the uh, the members in first. Um and if you don't own Phasmophobia, buy it if you want. I'm, all my free copies are accounted for. But if you want to play with us, I hear it's fucking great. Um, you know, buy it and we'll get you into the game for sure. So um, tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, I'll do some tweeting about it. But you guys, thank you for Bukaki. Thank you for Rob for modding. Thank you for all the generous new members. Welcome to you guys. Welcome to the, uh, thanks for the subs uh, over on YouTube. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks for the company. Thanks for hanging out. I am so fucking fried. I'm going to go just crash in front of the TV. Hope you guys are well. Stay safe. I will see you or at least some of you tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll be back on Monday at 3.15 for new Gabin and Games. Good night, everybody. See ya.